Hey, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to the downloading of the 4.0 patch. <laughs> Forgot to download it before we started, but that's okay. We can look at Big Shop Beach artwork and talk about the big update. So it is sizzle season now. Just started tonight. Got the patch yesterday. But all the big new stuff like the catalog and weapons and new map, Barnacle and Dime, those are out tonight, so we're going to play that. We're taking a little Zelda break, even though it is Wednesday, the day I normally would do Tears of the Kingdom. But we're going to play a little Splatoon tonight. Lots of art. Okay, let's get these patch notes, as much as I love looking at the beautiful artwork that people contribute in the Discord. Uh, speaking of which, if you are in the Discord, I want to remind people, I, uh, I just implemented membership linking. so. All you have to do to get your membership benefits on the Discord is to connect your YouTube account. So please do that if you haven't already. Let's look at Sizzle Season Rundown. Before we get into the minutia of the patch notes, let's talk about Sizzle Season in general. Uh, we need some like good background music or something here. There we go. We're not going to do Salmon Run tonight, most likely, but I love the tutorial song. So... What's new in Sizzle Season? Well, we have two brand new weapons. Heavy Brush, first brush in eight years, the Pain Brush. I'm gonna try that out first, because of course, I am ready for that at long last. And also the S-Blast 92, a very unique blaster that seemingly uh, broke the squeezer, is my theory about what happened. We're gonna get a 4.0.1, pretty sure, pretty soon. And uh, yeah, we got a bunch of other sets, new Tentabrella, new Dooley Squelchers, Lots of different stuff. Look, there's a bunch of gear. This is on Inkopedia. If you want to check out the patch notes, you can just search for Sizzle Season, and then there is the 4.0 patch. A little bit of returning gear, but a good amount of new gear. We also have new Salmon Run gear that is uh, not revealed yet, but we got a couple new interesting pieces of gear I've seen. And uh, yeah, new map and returning map, Pump Back Pump Track, and the new one is Barnacle and Dime set inside of a mall. And Jam and Salmon Junction, brand new Salmon Run map. That'll debut uh, tomorrow, I believe, or the second. So we'll play that this weekend for Splatter Day. You can see the new seasonal banner and title. There is a new challenge mode. They basically transformed Anarchy Open to League Battle, if you played Splatoon 2 with League Battle. And, uh, yeah, a bunch of other stuff to talk about. Table Turf. Deep, Deep Cut actually has dialogue about the stages. There are three new songs from Yoko and the Golden Bazookas, kind of a ska big band combo. The patch is now currently applying. Let's look at the actual patch here. The notes itself, before we jump in. If you wanna play, I will mention, uh, we have the Swimming Bird Pool. Just one word, Swimming Bird. If you wanna join that pool, you can jump into matches. If you're not on the friends list already, that's the way to jump in. A couple seconds and the patch should be ready. But yeah, there is uh, probably too many things to cover in this patch. A few things, though. This is, you know, the new weapon sets. But then they did change a bunch of the weapons, including nerfs to splash o neo splash the Sloshing Machine, and the Splatana Stamper. I've heard if you don't have Ink Saver Main, the Splatana Stamper took a huge hit. They buffed a bunch of the specials, cut some of the, uh, or added points you had to get for some of the more used specials to actually get those. A lot of different stuff, yeah. Challenges, I'm, I'm a little mixed on challenges. We'll talk about that as we go. And then Salmon Run got some of the biggest buffs. A bunch of weapons are way better, including the Big Swig and the Snipe Rider are amazing now in Salmon Run. So I've heard and seen. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's get in here. Boot it up, Fred Crumbs. Oh, perfect. The song ended right as I did that. Didn't even plan it. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to do some normal multiplayer. I'll try out the paintbrush, the S-Blast, some of the new sets. If we feel like Salmon Run, maybe we'll, we'll get to that. There we go, version 4.0. As brief as it will be before 4.0.1. Uh, another glitch that happened is uh, Brella's. I think their reticle is glitched as well, so... They're going to patch that pretty soon. Here we go. Hey, let's see what they have to say about the stages, too, because 
At long last, it only took almost a year, but they added, like, unique dialogue from Deep Cut for the stages. We got an update! There it is, the S-Blast pointed right at Big Man's flipper or whatever that is. <laughs> new season has started, so we have a brand new catalog. I'm excited for this catalog more than Fresh Season's catalog, for sure. Not as into the, uh, the Crocs and the gear and that, I've mentioned that before. Ooh, it looks like challenges have been added to the mix, keep an eye out for them. Yes, look out, World Fry's coming for you. Wait, what are challenges again? They're special events that might have different rules or restrictions than normal. Hey, hey, they're kind of random, right? So if you see one, you should check it out. The first one is going to be this weekend, I believe. That is for the new maps, and then... Or, that's not already going on, is it? I'm pretty sure it is upcoming. And then we have one in the middle of the week. It's going to be like Tuesday, the Trizuka one. We got some new weapons. Tons of them, yeah. <laughs> new weapon sets. Some of them I'm a little mixed on. Like, I don't know if the new Splatana is going to be better than the old one. It does have missiles. I'm very interested in the big Swig Express, though. As a known angle shooter fan. We got a couple sprinkler weapons, a couple angle shooter weapons. Not the most popular of sub. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. And then here we go. Listening? No time for it. Not when new stages just dropped. Hey, hey, still make time for listening. Those new stages do look good. You mean good for battling, right? Because that's what they're there for. Full splat ahead. And it is a uh, new month here soon. We'll get a new piece of Salmon Run gear, I believe, on the next rotation, if not already. But this is the new stage. I'm excited for this. It's an old decommissioned highway near a Salmon concert venue for Omega-3. So we'll have to try that out. And yep, lots of different stuff. We got the patch to talk about. All the little fixes as we play. Alright, let's see if they have dialogue here. Specific to what stages. There's so many stages at once, so how are they going to pick? Sometimes I get totally turned around by the rotating floor at Wahoo World. Oh, is that why you blasted me with ink? Okay, so it was Wahoo World specific. There's the new gear for June. It is a hat to go with the commander outfit. There we go. All right. Is that everything, you guys? There's a lot to talk about, and they won't shut up. No, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Catch you later, Deep Cut. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm sure I'm going to get blasted with notifications. There's my rank. I didn't really push much in Fresh Season to get my rank up. But they added that. We got the new cat. That was the end of my catalog at 53. Didn't max it out, but not too worried about that. Old catalog has been recycled. Very good. All right. So, first things first. Let's go. This is Ammo Nights, right? I haven't walked in here in a while because I haven't gotten some new weapons in a couple months. Hello, hello. Oh, wait, this isn't... <laughs> not that game. <laughs> Alright, I'll skip through some of this. So we got the Deco with the beacons and Tenta missiles. A little afraid of that. Anaki, Nova. Interesting with the inkjet, but I don't know about the ink mine. Painbrush, that's the one. Ooh. Can't go back through this, but I think you can replay all this stuff. Has a unique 90 degree rotation by the brush head, giving this weapon the most range of any brush out there. So it's kind of a longer range brush, which is weird. Trade-off, each swing is a bit slower, but this is still a brush we're talking about. It'll be flinging, flying across the map, and you can use curling bombs to blaze your path. Add in the Wave Breaker special to light up your enemies, and you've got a potent set designed for speed and extreme range. Heavy Splatling, splatling Deco getting the uh, Point Sensor and Kraken again. So we have a new Kraken and a new Super Chump weapon, which is good to see, because we only had two before. Now we're up to three for each. There's the S-Blast. Not sure about Sprinkler Reef Slider, but I'm interested in trying the S-Blast, because it has long range and close wider range shots. We'll see how it goes. A little worried about the new Tetras and the Zipcasters. Very scary sounding, <laughs> having Tetras zip around the map even more. Okay, let's get this new gear. It's interesting to see like what is unlocked first. They're probably going by when you unlock the originals. Um, I might just grab a couple that I'm interested in. Like, I'll, I'll try the Anaki Splattershot Nova. I'll try the new Wiper. Oops. I got enough tickets to just grab a bunch of these. Still some old weapons I haven't tried. Painbrush. This is the one I want. Let's equip it. There we go. Can we get him to fling it around for us? He's gonna roll it. There we go. Okay. 
And then, yeah, I still haven't gotten this ink brush because I'm not that interested in that one. Uh, what else do we got? These should be interesting, the, the new dualies, because they got Super Chump. I don't know about the beacon. I'll grab the big swig. We're just doing our shopping now so that I can save time later. And the S-Blast. That's the other main one I want to grab. Okay, I think that's about all. I don't know. We should get the Tenta because <laughs> the Trizuka challenge is coming up, like I mentioned on Tuesday. Grab I'm just getting all of them almost. All right, that's probably good, I would think. All right. Thank you for tuning in if you're here. I know it's an unorthodox time for Splatoon, not being the weekend. These should seem like shoes that like Sonic would use, to the soap shoes, to grind on a rail. All right. And I will grab this real quick. I've still been looking out for the one shirt I want, but I, I was like, oh, this eel's above. This is such a weird shirt. I gotta get that. Okay. Let's jump in. We'll check the shops at some point, because I want to make sure if there's any new gear out there, we, we spot it. Ooh, that is slow. Did you see that? That first flick, and then... And then it really is like an octo brush, yeah. Not much uh, maneuverability, you know, horizontally. Uses a lot of ink, I can already tell that out. It's pretty quick actually rolling around. How much 30 damage on rollover? Still not something you would do that much, because you would have to hit, yeah, three times for that. It almost has a charge up, that was so weird looking. I like did a fling and then I rolled and bounced. How much range does this have? Let's see. That's pretty good, honestly. This is almost like a shooter. And it does... Probably depending on how close you are and how many globs hit. You can get a three, three flick splat. That's pretty good. Does it do damage when you're hitting people with it? Yes. Two flicks if you're that close enough to hit somebody. So you can shark with this thing. Interesting. And then, of course, the curling bomb. So odd on a brush, because it can get around on its own anyways. But it might help with this heavier weapon. It's not too slow. It might not actually be heavy weight. Doesn't seem like it's making me swim much slower, from what I can tell. That's good. And then I do like the weight breaker. That'll help get those extra little hits in that you need. Okay, let's roll this thing and get to it. You guys can jump in. Avaricious Duke and Avaricious Duchess. Oh, I don't know if I would describe myself as avaricious. But let's get into it. All right. Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> Force a habit. <laughs> nope, we're not going there right now. <laughs> Currently, it's better on this one. Because then, yeah, you can... Oh, because the initial swing is slow. Yeah, it takes a little longer to run. That makes sense. Right, let me switch to my brush gear. I do have this nice eel shirt, but I'm going to put on my... Hmm. Should we go ninja, or should we go... I'm gonna go with this one. And we'll grab the... Where did it go? Where is my new brush? There it is. Look at all these weapons. Look at all of them. At some point. Okay, let's get into it. Now, if I go into open anarchy and people join me... That becomes a weird league battle thing? I don't know, we'll find out. I, I'm gonna actually start with that because I wanna see Barnacle and Dime. That's the new stage. And then we can play Humpback Pump Track. If we have to, no. That was not one of my favorite stages in Splatoon 2. But I think you guys can join in if it's open. I should, can I put out the call or? Hmm. Oh, we could drop in on someone else. We'll, f we'll figure this out as we go. I think Anarchy Open might not be the way to go. We might have to do with friends or just do Turf Wars if I want to get more of you in here. Because I can get seven in a lobby with Turf Wars. But we didn't queue with friends. Oh, okay. Well, good. Now I can redo it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna want some main saver on the pain brush. Okay, good, because I have that on my shirt. Oh, it's like I, I don't know why I was I was mixing up series, because I was like, wait, series with friends, you can't do that. 
Anarchy open with friends. All right, let's try this. I will create a room. And we should still be able to send the invite out. Enough modes for me to get confused, and they just added more with challenge. And open. There we go. Grunky jumped in. We got Ashley in here. And Steven. Wow, both of them. All right. Let's see how uh, the stamper goes with Steven, because, yeah, I heard you really need a lot of Ink Saver main to make that work anymore, because I think it uses, like, 30% more ink or something crazy. Let me see here. We can find that in the patch notes. Ink consumption increased by 30%. That is a huge, huge nerf. That is a lot. Because uh, usually they'll, they'll be like, oh, 10%, 6%. Very small percentage thing adjustments, but that's a lot more ink. That's almost like a 30 or ink tank more used. That's a little scary. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, we're going to Sturgeon. I think that is almost the, the way it always goes. As soon as there's new maps, try to play them. It throws us on the old map. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just make Humpback and the uh, new map on all the modes at once, but... Alright. Oh, we got one of the new songs. Is this Rockagilly? I think that's what one of them is called. Rockagilly something? They're all very, like, ska and big band, like, 90s throwback sort of feeling inspired. We got another paint bro paintbrush over there. Right, I'm going to try to get my ink and move in. Good, good, good. They got him. Okay, who wants to grab that? I'll take it. No one else does. Oop, okay. <laughs> well, I got him. And we got a little bit more in. They were waiting for me. I might be able to stealth jump. Gotta remember I have that on my shoes. Does one of the new weapons have the, uh... Oh, man, this uses so much ink. Does one of the new weapons have the... Uh, Ultra Stamp, because I feel like I keep seeing that. Ah, I did not get away fast enough. Man, I'm, I'm really hard, having a hard time adjusting to how, how much slower this brush is, for sure. It definitely feels awfully slow. We gotta have that initial wind up. I see you over there. Oh, ah, man. You really have to commit. Once you flick, you gotta commit because you can't really, like, dip down and start again that is the feeling I'm getting uh oh well that's close enough where they probably saw me <laughs> I'm missing my ink brush already it's gonna be an adjustment period but yeah. the damage is good I just gotta conserve my ink on the other side. Yep, there we go. Alright. Who wants that? I'll take it, I guess. I'm slow enough already. We already got this checkpoint? Okay. Wasn't paying attention well enough. <laughs> get somebody on the way out. All right. Let's see if we can get back in there. Always an adjustment. Not playing Salmon Run. <laughs> They're tracking me. I think I want more egg saver main on this than I've got. I'm noticing. Okay. I did try to invite people to the pool, but again, it fills up fast, so. We're trying to go around. Good job, team. Range is good, but not <laughs> but amazing on this thing, of course. There we go, finally lived long enough to get my special. 
up there. Okay. Yeah, if I can get the range on him and I can keep my ink high, it does feel like it's doable. Uh, to, to, you know, kind of win a bunch of team fights like that. Went a little better once I realized, hey, I need to not be in people's faces like I am with the other brushes so much. I need to be careful. Try to stay back a little to gauge. Oop. Trades pretty well as long as I'm not shot first, I think. <laughs> Got to get that initial spin, or, uh, you know, it spins around when you use the different modes of it. Got to get the initial flip, rather. Okay, we got the lead, so we should be fine here. Good job, team. All right, hopefully we will get the new map next. That was a good warm-up, though. I think I've got a better grasp on how to play the pain brush. It's nice that it isn't, you know, it's it's a heavy, it's a slower weapon, but it's not anywhere near as slow as uh, most heavy type weapons, like the Explosher, Tenta, Dynamo, that sort of thing. So, ooh, 16 splats, not too bad. There is a, uh, a little hidden victory thing that can happen, and it is a fist bump that you can do. And it seems like the requirement is you have to be next to... A one plus. Oh, we're calculating our power. So this is like a, a league series. Um, you have to be next to whoever you're gonna fist bump, and it seems like both of you have to have it like three of the gold badges for it to happen. It's not super common from what I've seen. It's a little up in the air. Oh, we got a freshness badge. But it is uh, it is happening. I've seen people in the Discord talk about the fist bump. So All right, let's try another one of these. I'm trying to send the message out to the pool as quick as I can. There it goes. Alright. Once again, the pool is... I don't know if I can show it. But it's just the word swimming bird. One word. Build up so quick. Okay. Um... But yeah, the fist bump is like a secret victory animation. Hopefully we'll see it tonight. We'll see, though. We gotta play well. I'm excited. I saw the uh, the new emotes, like the new victory animations, and they're all pretty good. It's one especially that I want that I think is unlocked pretty early in the catalog. We can take a look at the catalog at some point, too. Because we I briefly showed the catalog video, but there's a lot of stuff in there that is cool. Oh, here we go. Barnacle and Dime. This is almost like the inside of Arowana Mall. It's probably a different wall, or a mall, because it's in the Splatlands, but this seems a little bougie for the Splatlands, right? And we got more. This is the, uh, what's it called? Ska, Ska Blam. <laughs> this is the trailer song from Yoko and the Golden Bazookas. Someone's up there. Trying to be careful about. There we go. Got that roller. Okay. Ah! Brushing into each other. The Octo Brush got some buffs. That's also exciting, even though we have a new brush. The Octo Brush having. Uh, I don't know if I can safely jump in here. Even though I have stealth. Yep. Oh, I thought they were going to get me. Ran out of ink there. Let's heal. Got him with the curly bomb, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they're behind me! <laughs> they crackened on me. Um, my brain really does reset in the middle of combat. 
because I can't remember what I was talking about. The new music actually is playing more for a while. They, they set it so the new songs are more common to hear, which is kind of fun. It's a good way to be able to hear the, the, yeah, the new stuff, obviously. All right. Where did that? Isn't there a roller over here? Thought I saw him. That's a Tetra. I need to get into a better spot. There we go. Okay. This is not a huge map. I'm, I'm noticing more and more. I keep getting the... Uh, throwing bomb kills, surprisingly. Get this Octo Brush out of here. Ink. Kind of surprised by how many curling bombs I'm landing on people. I know people are a little mixed on the new songs because not everyone's going to be into ska. <laughs> and uh, so they're kind of varied though, if you hear some of the different styles. Like, they're not all very ska y. Oh wow, that was, they almost got that through on their own. Back there. Where did they go? They're sneaking around. I see ya. I'm trying to flick over that. Uh-oh. That was close. Yeah, they're waiting until we get into a spot where they can... Ah. Drop down on us. One person's sneaking over. I wish I could remember what I was saying about five or six fights ago, but sure it was very important. This thing is so ink-hungry. They're gonna move in over here. Hmm. Wavebreaker definitely helping me track stuff. Behind me. Yeah, they got me. They're getting close to beating our record. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, a lot of Splatoon is about 90s, early aughts, 2000, and there was a big period where Big Band and Ska was super popular, so I'm not surprised they added music for that. I mean, it just feels so slow with this brush. I think there's a thing with my brain where I'm oh jeez I'm having the disconnect where I'm like I've got my brush but I'm extremely slow moving at times. I don't think run speed run speed up is like never really useful for brushes in the past. But that would be crazy if it was like something we could do something with with this one. Mm -hmm. Watch that crack in and get ready for when they pop out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They got a good push here. They're gonna get one last push. We just gotta stop them. There we go. <laughs> the Octobrush right in the camera. Oh, that was what I was gonna say. The Octobrush got a bunch of buffs. Which we can look at in a second. I am excited for any brush improvement, but it's a funny timing. I wonder if they were like, I want to make sure the Octobrush isn't outclassed by the Painbrush, since they have a lot of similarities. Once you start flicking, they have similar speed. Good job, team. Okay. Yeah, the problem with wanting to cycle and let other people join is we'll never calcu calculate our league power this way, but that's okay. The Splatling Hug has been fixed. Yes, a bunch of the Splatlings looked really weird with the hug, but they fixed it. Uh, let's... Let me out. Let's go uh, grab our first catalog rewards. I'll check the shops real quick just to see if there's any brand new gear in there. Okay, but yeah, three new songs, pretty good. 
We got the new... Oh, so this is one of three new banners. It is uh, the Wahoo World. I forget the name of the fish, but that's the Wahoo World little traveling fish. And the other two are the seasonal banner and the gold version of the seasonal banner. A refreshing party star. All right. I think there is... I already got one of those Furbies. There is some new locker stuff, but I believe it is all tied into catalog unlocks. Nothing new shoes-wise, I'm pretty sure. There is some new clothes, but it's mostly catalog related, so we might not see them in here. Yeah, I think this is mostly older stuff. That's okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get back to it. I think I might, yeah, I'll swap my gear around. Last ditch effort, very useful, but I think I'm like, I want a little more main. Ink saver main. Hmm. Very torn with my. <laughs> I could put this on. Very torn with the uh, curling bomb. I don't know if I'm that into it, you know? Let's see. I could try this. I need to start using some of my other gear so that I can get some more abilities, you know? This might be good. I've heard special power-up is uh, is more useful for some of the specials as well. Maybe that would be good to do. Let's put some headphones on and get back to it. Okay. Let's see if we can get another Barnacle and Dime map. I like the energy of that map. I know it's it's relatively small, almost the same layout of some of the other maps that we've gotten, the old Tetris piece map joke. But uh, I like it kind of has Mako Mart's energy where it's nice and well lit and it has good visibility. I kind of like when a map is uh, easily re readable, but we'll see in the long run if I end up hating it because I just get sniped constantly from having no cover or no. We'll see. <laughs> it's very small looking, like brine water. I know last ditch effort is Ink Saver main, if it activates, but we keep being in the lead enough where uh, it's not doing anything for me. Grunky with the tips. Yeah, I think I'm like, I'd rather just have a reliable source of Ink Saver main and see how that works. If it's not that noticeable, I will go back to my Last ditch effort. Okay. Will it be Sturgeon? Yes, <laughs> that's all right. Jimble's already using the new banner. I'm gonna have to change my stuff around a little bit. I'm curious who, if anyone plays Stamper a lot, how this the new Stamper feels. Oh, we got three Splatanas, all three Splatanas. We're gonna see some missiles here with the deco. It kind of feels like the wiper is just gonna end up being the go-to stamper Yeah, we've only gotten the new songs so far but They definitely lean towards that a lot And I feel so slow like I was saying it does feel slower yeah. Get back a little bit there they are Somebody might be sharking. I keep not getting up there where I want because I didn't ink it properly. Another pain brush. I ran out of ink to take him out. <laughs> Splatana fight. Okay get used to this after a while. Right now it's just awkward because it feels like no other weapon having these new qualities. Uh. <sighs> Need to remember to try to still roll with the brush. It feels like a roller in some ways with how slow it is. And now that I switched off, this is when last ditch effort would be useful. Also, it doesn't ink your feet that great, which is, you know, makes sense if it's a ranged weapon in some ways. 
Are they behind us? Just using missiles on us? Yep. Duck. Rocket using the missiles. I think I want... I'm noticing, yeah. Last Ditch Effort obviously would be more useful if we're behind, but uh, I think I might end up wanting some swim speed up. Cause it is a little slower than I think I realized. No one's around to get it with me. Oh, he just threw that. Okay, cool. They activated it only to throw it. <laughs> this feels like a more synergized team. Got lucky with some of the other ones. They didn't seem like they were that coordinated, and now we're kind of fighting people that feel like they know what they're doing a little better. Okay. Constantly not having enough ink to do what I want. I'm gonna try to- yep. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna go after the one wiper, and then the other one will be behind me. That keeps happening. Get too focused on one person, and then I get surrounded. Yeah, I need to jump more, I guess, with this to actually hit some of these. Okay. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Rocket just keeps sharking and going around. Hiding in the corner. There we go. It's so... Yep. Ah. I gonna say, the awkwardness of uh, not being able to roll immediately is uh, getting to me. I just can't, I'm not rolling at all because I know how slow it is. Yep. We have more variety in weapon, but I feel like they have a lot of the better weapons, as we can see. Crab. Making stuff rough. Okay. There we go. One person's going around and it's probably sharking. There they go. Okay. waiting for Rocket to go around us. I know they're probably going around this way to get us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was a rough one. I'm gonna hone in my gear, I think. It's kind of how it goes in friend modes where you might get people just playing with randos or you might be super coordinated people that are in a group together okay swim speed up and maybe we'll go back to last ditch effort I think Then yeah, a couple more with the paintbrush, and I will try some of the other weapons, too. I'd be curious, it kind of feels like the paintbrush is medium weight, like octobrush weight, but it might be a little heavier. I think there's only three weights, though, so it's, it's either heavy or medium. It might just be because I'm not rolling around, it feels slow. Alright. Let's see. I got so many last ditch effort headgears that it is hard to pick. This one always feels like I have a huge target on my head because <laughs> it's all resplendent in gold, but we'll go back to this because then I, well, maybe that's why I felt slower. I switched off of this headgear that had all that uh, swim speed up. That would make sense, right? 
Where is... I want something with main. Yeah, let's go back to this. I don't know if I need stealth super jump. I'll do this. This seems good. Alright. Let's see how this feels. Better. Alright, now I'll show you... Where is it? Here. Here's the pool. If you are joining in, jumping in, not in the friends list, that's the pool name. And you can go tab over to get in there. All right, let's get another group. Oh, I forgot to check if I got the uh, punk Freddy Krueger sweater after ordering that. Brian's rocking the Anaki Splattershot Nova. He's gotten so good with the inkjet playing the ballpoint and others. I, uh, I'm not surprised he's picking up the Anaki. I'm, I'm curious how that is. I like... Oh, no, he's switching off. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> After I talked it up. Um, I I like... I want to like the Splattershot Nova more than I do. I kind of think I prefer the Dooley Squelchers because they're kind of similar, but Dooley's... The evolution of the Dual Squelcher. Okay. Thank you, Grunky. That does make sense. Swim speed, main up. Pretty useful. It's got some of the similar uh, weak spots that I feel with the Octobrush. We're going back to Sturgeon. The game loves to do that. It's I know it's random, but I do feel like it purposely is like, no, you're going to play the old map. <laughs> there are two new maps. Guess which one you're going to. Or two, two maps in the rotation. One is new. You gotta remember to use the old... Uh, fall off the spot that I didn't want to do. Um, use the trick of send a curling bomb and not necessarily go to where it's going. There we go. There they go. Okay, three of them gone. I'm having a hard time getting up walls. <laughs> I'm not inking well enough. Oh wow, go into that one, okay. Whatever works. I don't usually see people go to that checkpoint. You're a zip caster. Right. They reset. Oop, at least I got that down before I died. But will it go up? Wave breaker is so weird where, uh, well, it's not weird, but I know that it doesn't go up or down levels that well. You really have to find the best spot to place it in. There we go. Oops, running out of ink, yep. Yeah. Took down half of them, but then I ran out of ink. Feels pretty difficult to survive long term if you uh, struggle with ink conservation. Oh, they're over there. Okay, cool. Ah, I thought I could get that crab. Hmm. They're only one point behind us, and we lost the lead. thought I could make that gap. Well, it actually might be better for us that I fell in there. Now it's in the center. Oh, okay. I don't have stealth super jump anymore, do I? I forgot I took that off. 
And they're trying to just get around to our spawn. Did they super jump away? Yep. Okay, good, good, good. I shouldn't have gone in so ham, but hopefully that weight breaker will help a little. Oh, they jumped it. <laughs> they know what they're doing. <laughs> and I feel like I can't get my squid rolls and stuff as well, too, with how much slower the swim speed is. Alright, they reset. They're going to be going around this way, most likely, to get it. I'm going to take it, because I'm very slow. Might as well be really slow. And hold on to it. Yep. Mm, uh oh. Yep. <laughs> Timed their ink strike right on when we were coming back. They have a slight lead over us. We gotta get it. They're just running away with it, because that means they don't have to do anything. They just take it and take our chances to get it. <laughs> yep, there we go. All right. I would like to play the new map, but this is kind of how it goes. I'd also like to have more rando opponents than coordinated teams, but we're trying. Glum Baron and Snivkins, they got some good names. All right, maybe I will switch weapons, try something fresh. Yeah, mostly if we have a full team of friends, we're getting full teams of friends. So that's kind of how it goes, yeah. Kendo. Alright. I think some of the people who really are into competitive Splatoon are probably also playing right now because this is the, loot, the new league mode, which everyone has been waiting for, that is really into that. Which I never got a chance to try that in the last game. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's try the S-Blast. I'm not great with blasters, but I will try it. Um, probably an okay set for this. I might want some... Where is it? Intensify action. Hmm. I don't have that on stuff other than I have a good boss floss. I'm gonna go with this. Eh, wait, I don't need that. Hmm. Overthinking it a little. Let's do... It's probably good. Okay. Let's try this out. So, S-Blast. Pretty good range when you're on the ground, but when you jump, you can see that reticle gets huge. It blasts in a larger range, but closer to you. Oh, was I? Oh, you can do the jump, the roller trick where you get the far, if you fire and then jump, you get the long range one, but you get to jump. Interesting. Oh, if you're, yeah, if you're already firing. Okay, I see. This doesn't do as much damage. It's a little confusing. You can still get a direct with the wide range one, right? And get a good amount of damage. It makes a little bit of when you change modes. It's just beeping all the time when you're in the air. 
I don't know how useful the uh, jumping mode is necessarily, because it doesn't seem like it's making that wide of a reticle. If someone's up close to you, that's the way to go, I think, probably. And then, direct is still one hit, even at range. Okay, good, good, good. And then, yeah, we got Reef Slider. I don't think it got any changes, really, even though people were thinking we were going to get a Reef Slider change in the new patch. And then the Sprinkler. We'll see how this goes. Oh, it has a tie for the, the largest blaster radius. Is it tied with the Luna Blaster? Is that the other one that has a really wide blast radius? Okay. Is this a new song? I don't know if I've heard this one. The lobby music. Because, yeah, I think they said three new songs for battle, but I thought they, they also, someone was saying they also added some new lobby music. Secret. Secret music, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna have the Deco, Heavy Splatling, Grunky's gonna go Kraken mode. Rafa with the normal, normal dualies, so we'll get the Wave Breaker still. And Jimbles, get that Trizuka in there. Alright, cross your fingers for the new map. Yeah, I'm a little worried that I'm going to not play so great with the S-Blast, but it is a more intriguing blaster than the rest of them. And it is, of course, based off of the Super Scope from the Super Nintendo. I never had that. I had a... So I had NES, the, you know, normal NES. Well, I guess we're not playing with these people. <laughs> I had uh, the NES, and then I got a Genesis and skipped Super Nintendo. So I never had any of the crazy Super Nintendo peripherals. And I got a Super Nintendo later in life, but... Uh, NES, we had a bunch of bunch of stuff. We had Rob the Robot, I had the, the Zapper like a lot of people, Gyromite, all these different things that were, you know. Oh, we got everyone else in. Okay, good. Same people. We had Rob and stuff because my oldest sister was dating somebody who worked at a video game store at the time. And he was, I think, he, in, in an effort to woo her, he gave her a little robot. So, we lucked out. The NES was my sister's console, basically, because I have three older sisters, so I was very young when they were playing that, and then I kind of inherited a lot of their old game stuff when they got older. Oh, we're back to start. <laughs> Trying to not put too much disdain in my voice that the uh, game constantly sends us to old maps, even when there's a new one. Oop, I have a sprinkler. I don't know why I did that. I definitely have a better time when I can play the same weapon over and over and uh, get used to the set because... Oop, someone is right on the edge. Saw them. Saw them jump. Gonna get rained on to death. Yep, I just could not run, get out of the rain. Um, it was the big swig. But yeah, I I just kind of, I try to talk and the muscle memory kicks in, so I won't be able to remember half the time what I'm playing, and I'll throw out a sprinkler thinking it's a curling bomb. That's kind of how it goes. Nice. You guys going that way? What are you going that way for? Okay. I was ready to reef slide in here. And help everybody get this going. Here we go. Gotta get one good hit on somebody. And that's enough. They still here? Here they go. <laughs> ah. Big swig got me. 
I'm curious to try the new big swig. I don't know how that set is going to be with angle shooter, but I like it. It's a weird sub weapon. Something is broken inside of me that I enjoy it. We were very close to that KO. We're gonna jump on our heads. I got him, okay. <laughs> this is an interesting blaster. Uh, I should mention too, so we're not gonna do Salmon Run tonight because I would like to wait for the new map, but the first rotation we're getting with Jam and Salmon Junction, the new map is gonna have the S-Blast, and then the next one will have the Painbrush, so we'll get both of them pretty soon here. Careful and not let them get in on us. And we're right here. Yep. Hmm. We need a tactic cooler right there. Bold move, Greg. Oh man, they're getting in on us. I thought we had them. Ah, did not get a lock on them, and now they're all super jumping back. Well, that was weird looking. The effect in the center there. Still have a slight lead. There we go. Where did they go? I saw them. Going over. Okay. Ah! <laughs> they got... Okay, I was gonna say, they have two rollers, but not two big swigs. They got the crack on. getting used to when to use which mode on this thing. There we go. Alright, I think we had a lead there. I might try sticking with this group to see if we get the other map. It's probably completely random, but it can feel like if you shuffle the group, it's just going to give you the other map that you want. <laughs> Alright. Zach's here. Zach, do you want to play? <laughs> I am in a group here, but... What are you up to? Are you streaming? I don't know. I saw you jump on. I'm going to try to do another one with this group before... I ha oh, never mind. We're getting new modes. I wanted, yeah, rotation says no. I wanted to try to get the new map. So the, the new map's always in the rotation for 24 hours. So we'll have, yeah. What's the next one? Oh, wrong thing. What do we got? Oh, now, yeah, the challenges. So we can see. So this is going to be on the 3rd, which is Saturday. But at these weird times... Uh, they're not too bad. One's in the morning, afternoon, and then, oh, yeah. Starting right at midnight, so I'll try to get at least one of those in. That's with the new stuff. It's weird because it's like, celebrate, try the new stage, but we're already playing them. I think they wanted everyone to go in not knowing what was going on with the stages, but that's not really how it's going to work. Okay. Let's, uh... Well, at this point, we're going to go to Turf War because... And it's also Sturgeon. Why would they do that right in a row? 
<laughs> this game. Like a little wispy uh, orb flying around in the camera. Just the lighting. Okay. Zach probably saw my... Well, he wouldn't get the pool notifications. Alright, here we go. We got Barnacle and Dime. Finally. I think, uh... Oh yeah, we're gonna have to have random. But then you guys can join after that. And then we'll have a full room of eight with all of you guys. This is not the weapon to use in Turf Wars. But we'll try to make it work. Even the long range shot is uh, a little limiting in some ways. They have a charger. That'll be interesting on this map. Now we'll get to actually see how this works with the charger. And how frustrating it might be without much cover. Here comes the Kraken. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I think a lot of people were hoping the Reef Slider would be a little more useful, but it is what it is still. How slow this paints. Is it better to do jump shots for painting? Does it blast a little better? Doesn't really feel like it. This is a anarchy weapon. It'll probably be pretty good in Salmon Run too though, honestly. What's going on? Are we behind or dead? There's, like, no turf over here for us. <laughs> I wish I had swapped weapons before we got into this, but that's okay. I can do that between. I should be using Sprinkler. I know that Grunky has all the tips. I'd also like to have oh, geez, some ink to do anything here. Yeah, they just keep tracking us over and over. I don't know what happened to my squad. It's not just me. <laughs> Where'd that charger go? They moved way up to try to get me and then... Yeah, now there's a back. Right when I went in. Divinity, th thank you for using your two-month early bird message to say paint, paintbrush supremacy. Yeah, between the two, I'm, I'm enjoying this blaster. Not for Turf Wars, but I still am enjoying it. I just wish I uh, had got my paintbrush back before we went into here. We have two S blasts on my side, so of course, very balanced. <laughs> mm. Thought I had him. Okay, get you guys in here and get a new weapon. This is the time to maybe try some of the other ones, like the big swig. Get to see the hug animation. Three hugs. Everyone's using it now that it's fixed. <laughs> what was the other? Oh, there was the charger. They were all back line. And they pushed us all the way to the back of the line. All right, new weapon. New gear, too. I don't need... Don't need this uh, boss floss if we are playing something else. Like, let's try Big Swig. Hmm. This seems alright. Can't remember if I have a good roller set. Yeah, that's that one. Okay, let's go with this. Jimbles and Kirby. Everyone's remembering to use their membership uh, messages. And Brian, let's see. <laughs> so Kirby used theirs to just throw some good cat emotes. That we have Gigi, we have Tabi, we have Tabi on the cloud, and we have Tabi and Gigi together. Thank you, Kirby. Jimble said, what are your thoughts so far on the new map? 
thumbs up link emoji. Thank you, Jimbles. And then Brian says, be out here gaming and gaining, getting fist bumps. We'll see. I need to get one still. I got to do play a little better. Uh, Jimbles, so far I like the new map. I'd like to be able to play it a little more, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, as we saw, I was struggling a little when it was all backline pushing me back, but I don't know if that'll be an issue long run once people get more used to it or how that'll end up working. Man, this is like night and day being able to ink with this thing compared to the S-Blast. That's the S-Blast probably, yep. Nope, I went off the side. <laughs> Steven, thank you for the super chat. He didn't wear the sweater. That's what happened, he says. I did not buy the sweater yet. I forgot to check. There's a lot of other stuff going on. I'm not too concerned about gear from Splatoon 2 so much. We got a couple of S-Blasts on it. Or no, just one. They're just everywhere. It makes me feel like there's multiple ones. This is all you guys, right? Pretty sure. There we go. <laughs> I'll just angle shoot you from a mile away. Everyone's tracking each other. Tracking and cracking. Yep, there's the cracking. I was tracking and there's the cracking. Fell in the ink there instead of. Oh, I managed to actually do that. Oh, didn't get it. Ryan got me. He's wearing the sweater. I keep thinking I have stealth super jump. I gotta be careful. I do enjoy being able to actually paint. Oh, not when I fall off the edge like that. Yep. I wasn't paying attention if we got the new music. Ah, my aim. Can I just roll into the Kraken and keep him away? Nope. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that would work. Gonna be a tough one to come back from. Mm. Not the most balanced teams. Got almost all the pros on the other team. Oh, I was waiting to see if there was a fist bump. That's crazy. They it doesn't matter what victory animation you have. The fist fist bump will still work. Okay, let's shuffle. Oh wait, I don't want to stop because then. Well, I do want to shuffle the group, but then I have to play with randos again if we're gonna do that. Unfortunately. I wish there was an easier way to still earn points and earn experience without having, you know, I don't want to play private battles, but I also would like to actually have you guys play without having to cycle so often. Um, I will try the Anaki. Probably don't need this. Let's do... What's a good gear? I'll go with this. Okay. Actually, I have to switch my weapon again, because it auto-did that. There you are. I love the design on this, I just don't know if I'll love playing it. But for Turf Wars, still pretty good. If 
If I do with friends, I can't invite pool people, right? Is that how it works? And also, we could try to join Zach. Let's see. I'm gonna try that real quick and see what happens. Yep, T. Jones, that's what I was doing. I was playing a normal match and having people drop in. You just have to be quick. I know it's frustrating that you can't get in sometimes, but... Oh, battle is not... It's happening right now, so I'm not gonna do that. I won't wait. All right, let's try this. For some reason, I feel like an open lobby is better, right? Because it's only with friends is like three people and we have to fight other people. Yeah, I'll try this though, but I don't think we're gonna be able to play as many of you this way. I don't, yeah, we'll, I don't know if pools can jump in for this. I need a cheat sheet that's like, okay, turf, open, anarchy, friends, <laughs> all the, just says all the different modes I have to play every time, because we play Salmon Run for so many weeks and then I forget. All right. Ready to go. Can't drop in with friend, yeah. Which is weird, because you'd think it would, if you're playing with friends, you would be able to invite people in your pool easier, but it doesn't always work logically like that. That's why I was doing normal mode before, but... All right. It is fully sizzle season where I live. I tried to wait until, uh, well, we didn't get the new new update fully, like we didn't get the new season until eight, my time. But I also have been waiting until evening to stream a little more because of how warm it is in my area. And uh, yeah, it's definitely sizzling for sure. But it is, as I was gonna say, it's still extremely warm here. There we go. Brian's getting all of them, even though I'm trying to play just dis uh, distraction jet, ink jet. Getting so much uh, sturgeon shipyard practice, <laughs> unfortunately. Should put one of these right here on the edge where people pop up. They'll love that. Oh, the blobs almost lobbed me all in one shot there. I'm gonna try to turf and stick with you guys because I'm not gonna be able to take a lot of these fights with this weapon. Uh, but yeah, I try to I try to cool things down as much as I can, but within like an hour, heats up. Unfortunately. Who was that? Stringer. Oh, do I already have a mine over there, or is somebody else? Oh, my other mine didn't go off. There we go. Do my mines persist across death? Oop. I think I meant to put a mine down and I did that, but that's all right. I see you over there. Going around that way.
<laughs> I think we got him. Okay. Sprinklers don't persist during between deaths, but mines do. Okay, good to know. Another thing about most of these weapon sets is they have sub-weapons I never use because <laughs> I never pick weapons with ink mine if I can hand help it. But we're going out of our comfort zone a little bit. There we go. Oh, almost. All right, let's do an open one because can't get as many people. Uh, it's not too humid yet. It's just warm. Regular. Do one more with this. One more with you guys with this, and then, then I'm going to swap around. Does this benefit from intensify action? Because I know it pretty much only... Oh well, yeah, when I jump without it, the reticle gets huge. Should do some testing. I still like intensify action to get quicker, you know, squid rolls and squid searches and stuff, but even if I'm an Octoling. Oh, uh, I think even though we're playing with random people, we got a couple people together. Two mamas. <laughs> Tonight is all about Sturgeon Shipyard. This would happen even in Splatoon 1, where I would be like, time to show the new stuff. Nope. <laughs> Or at least seeing new weapons and things. I don't dislike this map at least, but. I heard a wahoo behind me. Yep, there they are. This thing doesn't fire as far as I think sometimes. I need to not shoot really far in the distance like I'm using a charger or something. Okay, they got big swig and that's blast. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going after that blast that I thought I had a uh, wiper right next to me, so I was like, time to turn. Nope. bigger on that than I thought. Haunting me, no! Someone actually using haunt. I know that's semi popular gear ability, but just don't see it that often. I get somebody, <laughs> they're all over the place. <laughs> Three of them there, just couldn't hit them well enough. Time to change weapons. It's good turfer, but I hate not actually being able to aim and hit people as accurately.
Farming ink jets is the way to go, <laughs> says Grunky. I need to get more accurate with my ink jets. We got our catalog up, though. Let's see. What's next? I think I want to try the Tetris. And... Hmm. Ink Saver Main, definitely good with that because you get the more zip caster out of it. Let's do that. Should try the broken squeezer. Yeah, I don't know about that. Baron, I don't know if I want to contribute to broken squeezering. Okay. Finally got the new one. This is way brighter. Yeah, I was saying that before. I was like, I think it's because it's a lot of water and a lot of like white paint and surfaces, but compared to Sturgeon, it is extremely bright and jarring. It kind of, it's like arowana mixed with Mahi in a way. Should be using my sprinkler, right? But this is a little door. That's for the the uh, food court workers to go through. Can you roll with the? You can roll with the. Uh, that's pretty crazy. You can zip cast and then still roll with the dualies, which makes sense. But still, surprising. We gotta get a little closer. Oh, Brian's, yeah. <laughs> Brian's here to show me how to play the Anaki. I forgot we have you guys in again now. Okay, Zach's gonna try to jump in at some point. Testing out the new stuff, pretty much. Wasn't sure if you were streaming too or not. Here we go. All right. Get in there. to survive that. Ah! <laughs> you mind that cover. Didn't survive the Nautilus. Whoa, look at these on the map. The uh, the sculptures are like 3D. Do other maps have that? These, uh, these big fish. What are they? Eels or... They look kind of like the uh, tiger fish, the Rainmaker. Keep eating sprinkler. <laughs> roll, roll, roll away. We're getting spawn camped right at the end here. So far, new kits, I do think Paintbrush is the one I want to put the most time into. A lot of these are a little odd where I'm like, eh, they, they seem good still, because the weapon's good. This one is interesting because of the zip caster, but then the sprinkler is like, eh. The Tetra doesn't seem like it struggles to paint that much. But 
my worry with some of these new ones is they're gonna put these like sub weapons that people are not as into on them and then people just won't play the kit because it'll bring it down enough but hmm okay uh between these we had a couple others i would rather place some of these in uh anarchy but i think that is humpback pump track right now right i'm gonna go back to the paintbrush for a little bit seems like a good set for it okay get my aim on lock and let's get in here can i drop in here let's see is he playing i've never done the drop in thing where uh you wait. It kind of reminds me of Mario Kart, but I don't think I uh, have tried jumping into another lobby like that. Because usually it's either open or closed with things like Salmon Run. Alright, I gotta remember that I can still roll around, and it's still pretty good and quick. I just gotta go for it. I keep playing this like it's a roller a little bit, where I'm like jumping and trying to uh, flick ink. It has some of the range of a roller. How is the close-up inking? Let me see. Not great. Look at that. Because, <laughs> yeah, you have to... Uh... If you keep flink... Okay, after the first maybe two flicks, you get on your, your feet. You get paint. That's probably where the curling bomb comes in, though. All right, I'm going to try to join Zach here, and then we'll... See how that goes, and then try to get more of you guys in. There we go. Alright, let's see how this goes. What's he playing? The 96? Is that the new one? Oh wait, the 96 isn't new. That's the Kraken one from last season. Okay. We got new music, though. What are we against here? Painbrush. Deco. <laughs> Get that out of there. Here come the missiles. There's their paintbrush. Stay back! <laughs> that ran out of ink. <laughs> I gotta conserve my ink more. Mm -hmm. Scary. I do like that the curling bombs can be a nice little distraction. They think you're going in sometimes when you're not. Alright, let's try to support Zach a little bit. There we go. Alright, nice. That worked out nicely. I do find I often am so worried about what the enemies are doing that I don't do a great job of uh, paying attention to my teammates and going in when they go in, staying back when they're back, you know, that sort of thing. I'll just pepper them with curling bombs until they're vulnerable. Here comes the Kraken. <laughs> ah, I didn't get either of them somehow. I really thought the Kraken was going to get it. Yeah, what are those fish there? They look like the Rainmaker, Shakuhachi, but they also look very uh, long and eel-like. Oh. 
Get a little bit more ink in. No! <laughs> Jumped in to get wiped out right at the end. The Kraken's going to be on the map at the end here. If you look. Yep, there it is. It stays. If you use it right at the end, you can see it on the map. Ooh, we won by 0.3%. They didn't ink their base very well. Oh, you guys can still drop in with me. Okay, good, good. If it's an, I don't know if this is open or with friends, but I will stay in then. I'm gonna stick with the paintbrush. Let's see. If we get one person in or if we get, there we go. All right, bunch of you all joining. <laughs> good, good, good. I think Zach might be playing with one other person. I do have to remember if I get close enough and can actually use this thing like a Splatana, I can hit and do more damage that way. It's kind of slow, or I don't know if it's that's that reliable though. I should probably be using the range. All right. Back to Sturgeon. <laughs> Got the good ink color, so. Oh, that's another change. I should mention that maybe we'll get overlooked. They changed the color lock. There is now bicolor and tricolor lock and two options for each one. So there is the purple and yellow Splatoon 3 colors, but you can also get the orange and blue Splatoon 1 colors. Weirdly, uh, Tricolor seems to have uh, two versions of blue in that one, which I'm like, is that distinguishable for people that have color blindness, or is that, you know, it just seemed a little weird, but and we'll show that off maybe here. that than I thought they did. Oh! <laughs> Brian got me with the Zooka. Do I? No, I don't. I was gonna say, I can't remember sometimes if I'm using my Stealth Super Jump boots. Oops, too close. Oh. <laughs> Seeing so many uh, point sensors now. I don't know if it's partly because of the new Kraken weapon. Deco. Ah, they got me. Okay, this is gonna be tough here for the old orange team. bring this back if we're quick. Oh, maybe not with that. <laughs> trying to just do the little stinker maneuver of brushing past everything. Let's see, looking pretty blue. Ah.
I think I have later under later on too, like Zach. That was the last one I unlocked. Definitely more interested in the emotes this season. Which, I, there's not a good way to show those, unfortunately. You just gotta get them. It's pretty maneuverable. I can't tell, it's a little bit of a thicker brushing trail than the octo brush, I think. From the looks of it. It should be, because look at this giant ginkgo leaf we got on the side. Yeah, see, it, like, turns when you flick. It needs a second to, like, swivel. Almost looks like it's made out of the same thing as the Nautilus as well. Okay. Going against Brian again. <laughs> We're with Zach this time. And Grunky. Does seem like I am always against Ashley, but I think some of that is the weapon choices, and maybe they're like, okay, you're using an inking weapon, and she's using an inking weapon, so. I gotta get my flow on when to curling and when to flick. How much ink I even have left after a curl. Lots of important things. There we go. Got Brian, finally. He's jumping to me. Try to keep you alive. Brella's got a lot of fixes where it's like, they didn't quite get buffed in some ways, but I think they are better than they were previously because of some of the canopy fixes. Especially in Salmon Run, I'm excited to try it. Some of the weapons that I did not really enjoy in Salmon Run are now extremely good, like the Sniper Rider, the Big Swig, and the uh, Undercover Brella. Pentabrella as well, just all the Brellas in general. I think even Undercover, you can just really use that during uh, Glowflies. Almost. It's up there. Uh, <laughs> got ganged up on. I tend to not super jump almost at all when I don't have stealth ju super jump because I think I'm too worried that I'm just going to get splatted immediately. But sometimes you got to go for it. out of ink. Yeah, that's it for me, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Survived just enough to get the splat. But we're getting pushed all the way back to our base. Too little too late there at the end. What are the other weapon kits that I'm interested in? I'm trying to think what would be good for Turf Wars. I'm gonna see here. Custom Dooleys, I am interested in another Super Chump weapon because Super Chump did get buffed. Maybe I'll try that. And just the beacon is less appealing than the Splat Bomb, honestly. All right, we'll do that. I think this is... I'll try this. This is my normal... Oh wait! 
Ah, I didn't go with the custom. <laughs> I forgot I changed gear and it changed my weapon too because of the freshest fits. Oh, okay, we lost everybody anyways. So that gives me time to change. Zach, I think he left. He was the host because he's going to get different weapons. Gonna buy some more. Yeah, I want to try this. This one. The tip is also... Yeah, so it's... It has a sticker and it has a yellow end to it, so that's how you can tell the difference. Um, and then, yeah, we do have the... Some of the, these recolors, I'm, I don't like the color as much. It's almost like a, when a shiny Pokemon is just yellow or green and it doesn't look as good. These two specifically I'm calling out. Big Swig Roller Express and Splatana Wiper Deco compared to... Look at this, it's so sleek. And then where's the normal Big Swig? Yeah, I like this kind of purple lavender-y color better, I think. This isn't horrible, but just that part. Probably looks better when you also don't have green or yellow ink on it. All right. Do I have time to go grab my catalog bonus? Purple roll. <laughs> Got a ticket. It's a good thing, though, this time. Alright. This is one of those seasons where I think I am more interested in the brand new weapons than the returning kits. That kind of, I guess that happened in chill season a little bit, but then uh, most of those kits, Big Swig, Nova, and uh, Snipe Rider, I was not as into. Clam Blitz. Let's see. With friends? What's the map? I guess we could try Humpback Pump Track again. I'll try Clam Blitz. We got a good taste of Barnacle and Dime. Blitz it. Is this a good weapon for Clam Blitz? Let's find out. I'm at least used to the main weapon. Drinking warm coffee is not helping, but I'm like, okay, during summer, I'll probably have to take, like, stream breaks to cool off the room. Or I'll get heat stroke or something. No. I'm doing alright. It's just warm. Heat of battle. Yeah, the super chump probably be pretty good to cover or shoot right at the basket. That does make sense, Grunky. And beacons. Good, there we go. A misting fan. Yeah, I just need... To, oh, <laughs> Zach's also playing the new one. Um, we'll have a lot of chumps, hopefully. I need something that is quiet that is cooling, because that's the problem. I have a window AC, but I'm not going to run it. It will be like the lawnmower stream all over again for whoever was here for that. That was a salmon run, but that was the Golden Grisco weekend when everyone was mowing in the early morning. I do drink a lot of liquids. I just need, yeah, some, th some sort of silent thing. Maybe I'll just have Danny come in with a spray bottle and mist me in the face with a Spritz like I'm a cat trying to get to something. No, that's not a good, I should mention, that's not a good technique to use with cats. Because they don't really associate it with why they're being misted. There was a video, I almost was going to link it in the Discord because it was like uh, living in the suburbs at 7am, waking up to the lawnmower, which is all through the day till 11pm. And then it finally stopped, they fell asleep, and then someone went, and drove by really loud. So that's basically what my life is like. There's a train horn. We get airplanes, trains, people zooming by, and lawnmowers. Okay. We're getting the pump track. I almost didn't even notice it was special because I got so used to playing this during Splatoon 2. This is the 3 version. I don't know if it has that many ways to get up. 
I think this is a uh, skablam again. I think I'm still in turf wars mode. All right, they got Flingza. They got their own jet squelcher, Nautilus. A lot of stuff that's going to be annoying to deal with. Are they behind us with... Oop, oh, it's the rain that's doing it. Nope, they are behind us. How do I get back up there without... Oh, necessarily super jumping constantly to my own stuff? Ah, thought I had him. Yeah, so you have to go on these side areas to get up there. But... Part of why I put a beacon over here, because I was like, then we can get back up if we really need to. Doesn't seem like there's great ways to get up outside of that side part. That ink! Ah! <laughs> firing and firing, and then didn't recharge. Um, I'm gonna try to go. Meant to go to the other one to get the clams. No, oh, we lost it anyways. As soon as I got in there. Oh, there's just a clear way up from the side. I thought you had to go on the weird middle rampy part. I didn't know that you could just go right around. That's not too bad then. All right, I got a lot of clams here. I'm one away from a football. But do I want the football until we get a good push? Probably not. We got the lead, so it's not like we have to push. Time to get my... Super chump. Can I hit this guy from here? Oh. <laughs> ah. Thought I had him. Thank you, Steven and Ashley, for the gifted membership. And Steph Wheels got it. Awesome. I think they had one before, but now they got a fresh one. For Stinky Season. Oh. I almost titled the, the video Stinky Season, and then I was like, wait a sec. That's not what it's really called. Ashley should work in localization. I think she came up with Stinky Season originally. Oh. Well, I was trying to go to the other guy and ran right into a tri-slosher. Look at all the beacons. <laughs> I thought we only had... You can only do two beacons, right? Uh-oh. You know, they're pushing all their specials, right? When we're... Ah! And they snuck around me. Ah! Um... The coordinated specials kill me. <laughs> it, it probably would be so limiting and annoying, but I still have this feeling of, like, I wish each team could only pop one special at a time. Then you wouldn't get like three or four specials all aiming at you at once in a way that can be really frustrating to can't really dodge almost anything. I know super chumps, you can now aim them closer to you. I think that's almost what I did. Did we get that? Okay, there's a football over there. Get that football. No one's getting it. <laughs> Can't aim up that well. All right. We got a little bit of a lead. Ashley and Steven, again, thank you for the other gifted membership. Thomas got that one. Thomas has been watching a lot recently. Glad to see they got a membership. No, don't let them in. 
gonna die in the ink storm. And we lost the lead because I couldn't stand in the ink storm to defend. <laughs> That's kind of what I mean, is a lot of stuff revolves around get your specials and put them right in the area that's annoying but that's the game and I gotta deal with it instead of complaining I don't know I like super chump as a concept, but I don't know if it's as good as like a booyah bomb or something for an area. Try, I think there's a couple others that are kind of better, probably, right? Try strike and booyah bomb. I'd like to see now that it's buffed if it ends up being decent because they did buff the damage and they buffed the radius of it, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Let's look. I've got the patch notes right here. Not too many of the specials got buffs. Yeah, 25 to 35 damage. And then, oh, okay, you can... Uh, in the ink area, okay, and it can fire closer to you. All the things I kind of just mentioned. Chump may be better than ink strike. Okay, good to know. Alright, let's try this again here. Really need a beacon close to the basket in case things go bad and we need to jump back. I used to just hang out on this thing and then I could blast and throw bombs all around here. One of my favorite spots was uh, this little hump of the track. But it feels like they could get snuck up on if we're not careful. There we go. Get a couple clams, trying to make our way around. Thought someone had a football. Go for it. Get that football. Here go the chumps. Throw it in. Oh, I'm not going to be able to roll out of both of these missiles. Oh, we actually we did okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I survived a while there, but I had like three people on me. I thought that was going to be a good push. I almost thought that was Brian. I was like, wait, we're not playing against Brian anymore, right? This is anarchy. We'd have to get really random luck to have the same people. Ugh. I thought I had him. We got a beacon there. So what did the... Did the wiper also get beacons? I can't remember. There's a couple of sets that have the same sub. Like, we got two sprinklers... We get two ink mines. There we go. Should be good. Got you this time. Nice, nice, nice. This undercover is so sunk cost that they want to kill me. They're not going to go back and defend the clam blast basket. Yeah, they got me. But at what cost? Look, you're losing. Turn around. <laughs> Alright. Works for us. Can't let personal vendettas get in the way of winning the blitz. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to go on that. <laughs> Trying to put a beacon down. My little squid's like, nope, I'm going on the rail. I'm riding the rails, Ma. Ah, man. What did they have? 
Gal. Okay, I was gonna say I died really quick there. And they're clearing the way. Can we stop them in time? Here they come with their clan. There's the gal. Sneak around. They got longer range than I do, so I'm gonna be careful about that. Nope, oh, so they got me. <laughs> Trying to sneak up on them. They were aware. Doing okay. I'm always trying to shoot the Kraken. I know it's invincible, but it can hold it back if you shoot it. Should be waiting until it's done. Okay. Jump them up. Alright, if we hold on to this, we should be able to... No. Didn't watch my flank. Beacons are... They're helping. It's nice to just go right to the basket when you need to. Over time. Okay. <laughs> he tried to jump in. Didn't work. Good job. All right. I I think that's enough of the deco. I'm gonna try something else. Double undulator. Gotta find something I can get splats and turf so I can get that fist bump. The criteria is so strict. You have to be next to the person. You have to get three gold, seemingly. We'll know for sure. I'm sure I'm soon, but that seems to be... Uh, people are like 90% sure, I think. All right. What do I want to try? We could try Splatana. Wait, I don't want Ink Saver Sub. <laughs> we'll do... Uh... And then change weapon, quick. Yeah, I'm gonna try this Splatana Deco. Uh, Cause then, like I said before, sometimes it's nice to change one element of your kit, like, or at least, you know, outside of your main weapon, if you're gonna switch. Now I still have beacons, so I can be like, okay, my sub weapon is the same, less to adapt to. Oh, we lost that. I guess that's okay. Oh, we got Lego. That's fine. All right, new group. And yeah, the uh, the wiper seems like the way to go if you're a Splatana player now. Splatana, Splatana player because of the massive nerfs to the stamper. And this thing inks like crazy. It probably is going to get a lot of missiles. I would guess. Oh, thanks for playing, Zach. Yep, he's heading out. Appreciate you jumping in the stream. But yeah, as I, I personally prefer the Splatana Stamper a little more, but I think I'm going to just have to adapt and get used to the Wiper. Alright. Haggle Fish. We could probably go back to Barnacle after this. We got Brian in here. We got... Who else? Lego jumped in. Ryan with the inkjet, I'm sure. Yeah, this thing has crazy strafing speed. And, uh, can do pretty good damage still. Put 
on here. Try to get some more clams. Oh, I got the football. One's gonna be going up. I can see him up there. So many tornadoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got the dynamo, at least. There's a clam there for whoever can get it. Trying to be on tornado or torpedo duty if I have to keep everybody alive from those flying at us constantly. There we go. All right, time to push. Behind us. Okay. Good push. Whoever threw that wall in there. Nice job. <laughs> squeezer. Someone using the busted squeezer. <laughs> I think it's Lego. I, so I vaguely mentioned the squeezer being broken. Uh, that is basically like, uh, if you've played the squeezer, you know that you get a tap shot range and a different range for holding down the button, um, which is like your turfing mode. But if you do, I believe it's if you do a jump, uh, jump turfing mode, you get turf rain or width with tap shot distance to get the best of both and I think that might be because of a glitch with how the uh, uh someone's behind us right nope I thought they were I thought that was a glitch with how the s blast was programmed Uh, so, because the S-Blast, uh, sorry, it's very focused there. So the S-Blast has a different jumping and landing mode, and often, oh, they're over here. Often a uh, developer will use a different character or a different weapon as a framework when they make something new. So I think the squeezer was maybe what they used for the framework. Good job, good KO the framework for the S-Blast, because it has two shooting modes, just like the Squeezer. But then something happened when they added the S-Blast where the Squeezer kind of got glitched and is doing a similar weird thing. Um, the other time that happened that I, I'm pretty sure is in Smash Brothers, because uh, when they added Steve from Minecraft, they had to add a whole new system for his blocks, which were, you know, things that you can interact with, hurt boxes, and... There were a couple other characters like Zelda and Duck Hunt that could create their own little blocks, basically, with the Wild Gunman, the Phantom armor. So when they added Steve, those two moves specifically glitched out. And it makes me think, uh, you know, a similar thing is happening where they Steve's blocks were probably programmed based off of the way that those other moves worked. So it happens. Uh, they will fix that very soon, they even said, I think. Okay, let's swap people around. Maybe we'll get the new map going again, get more of you in here. And I think, did my catalog level up? It did. Okay, Ashley, thank you for the super chat. She says, my days are going to be so confusing with you streaming Splatoon tonight. Also, distraction. Yeah, we uh, could have done Zelda, but I figured a lot of you would be playing Splatoon, so we should just do this instead. Oh, we got the... Oh, no, that's the normal Nova. The light Tetradulis, though. I think that is new. 
new cards for the new weapons, they always do that. <laughs> Farron says, if you do four catalog things a day, you'll complete it in 25 days. Problem is, yeah, I don't play enough and play frequently. I should be playing once a day to get that bonus. That is the smart way to do it. That's the way they want you to get, you know, to get into the game. Okay, I'll take that. Not the main ability I would want on it, but now I've got it. I've got the special sweater. Love the striped shirt. I do have a couple others. Where is it? Yeah, I got the par par uh, pirate. Did I get the part-time pirate, too? Oh, I have the sailor stripe. Or did they... They didn't add the part-time pirate back in yet, did they? I just have the green striped one. Okay. And then this one. Man, I've got, like, every striped shirt possible. All right. That was fun. Uh, what other weapons do we have? Let's try the tentabrella. I think I'm going to want a bunch of Inksaver main for this. So, yeah. Got, does it have mines? Okay, so it also has mines. This seems good. Let's do this. And we also have a bit of swim speed up to help with how heavy this weapon is. I have to remember to switch my... When you switch your gear, it also switches your weapon with freshest fits. So I have to switch the weapon back. And I believe this is also glitched right now. The brellas where the reticle doesn't change even if you fire your brella off. So that, that might be a little odd. Here we go. This doesn't even feel heavy with all this swim speed up. It's the problem. I use, I get reliant on the gear abilities. Then we play Salmon Run. You just got to go back to not having any of them. I tend to very buffed in Salmon Run from what I've... I've seen. I gotta get used to this again. Before the event, I don't use Ink Zuka, Trizuka, at all. Oh, quick respawn on tent would be good. Okay, <laughs> too late. All right, so we're gonna have a rando match and then I'll get you guys in. So join in and get ready if you can. I always forget to booyah back when it's something where I have to adjust. I'm too focused on that. I see them going up and around. Is there a crab already? Yeah, it's there. It's that crab. Oop. Look at that big swig. Somebody else's umbrella going through. Chasing my umbrella. I thought I had that. <laughs> there we go. I could tell they were sharking. Didn't pop that out fast enough. The other brella got me. Yeah, it would be great to get a fist pump before the end of the stream. I don't know if it's going to happen unless I really use a weapon that I can ink a lot with. I think if I played, like, Ink Rush, I could get the ink and the splats, potentially, needed. That other brella is a menace. Oh, what? Okay. They were behind me. <laughs> Struggling here with this. Go ahead and be careful as they spin around. I want to get used to some of these Ink Zuka weapons because we're going to have that Ink Zuka event coming up, so I do need to be mindful of that. go. Ah, thought I could maybe fight them. Shouldn't have. The big squid got me. Oh, 
Ah! <laughs> Again, didn't have my self super jump. I thought I could get the Brella out in time. Alright, let's do this. Go! Well, maybe not if I don't super jump. I'm gonna be so slow. Push, push, push. Ah! <laughs> Went about as what I thought it would go with the, the Tenta. Bogatory? Uh-oh, what was happening in the bog? People getting in bog jail? I mentioned early in the stream I did do uh, some... Changes to the roles. We still have the old roles, but if you're a YouTube member and you can sync your YouTube to your Discord, that would help me out a ton because then it will sync your membership automatically. Uh, what were we gonna... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try Ink Brush and just see how we do with it. Um, yeah, this will be alright. Yeah, I know it's not a new weapon, but I want to get a fist bump. And we're gonna try with the help of you guys. Yeah, this feels lightning fast after playing Pain Brush. And then having Bomb again. Yeah, so many... I don't think any of the sets got Splat Bomb, right? Uh, but anyways, it, things got a little weird on the Discord with me trying to do the roll adjustments. But hopefully it should be good now for everyone. Let me know if it's weird still. All right. We're against Brian once again. We got a lot of weird weapons on our side. <laughs> Tenta, big swig. We'll see how this goes. But at least we got the new map. I want, I want to remember to go to the jukebox before we finish up, because I'd like to see if there are new songs more than just the song, uh, the ones that we know from the new band. Yoko and the Gold Bazookas is the uh, the new band name, if you haven't seen or heard them yet. That's a super jump, right? Someone doesn't want me to get a fist bump. Brian. You guys go so extreme against me to make sure. No. <laughs> No one wants me to win! It's just inspiring me to play harder, play better. There we go. That's what you can do with the normal ink brush is actually escape. I feel like the pain brush is going to be too slow to get some of these escape maneuvers that I'm so used to. Ultimately, it's going to be tough to have the normal uh, ink brush get out class for me. Oh, they got me. I love the, yeah, the statues being 3D on the map is so weird. I'm sure there's other stuff in the other maps like that, but I just never noticed it before now. Oh, they're pushing, they're really pushing on us here. We had a good thing going and then... Everyone wants to look cool on the stream. We're getting out of this little spot here. Ugh. 
Yep. We had a lead for a bit, and then we just could not get out of spawn at the end. Good game. They kicked it in the gear. Halfway through. Octo 2, they have the shirt! I'll have to see if I can find them in the lobby. I've been waiting for the Splatnet version of that to try to get a different ability, because I think it has run speed up. That's the other Splat. Oh, I did get three gold, but we didn't win, so I couldn't get the fist bomb. <laughs> I do need to... Ah. I do need to get some more food in me, and we'll check the jukebox, because I'm going to forget if I don't do that. Do that. Probably won't go too much longer. Where is it? Yeah, so these are the three new songs. Kablam. Three Horn Circus, which I've heard sounds like Clown Core a little bit. And Rockagilly Blues. I like them. Uh, Liquid Sun. Okay, that's that's the new Splatfest song. We got that a couple updates ago. Or, uh, you know, Fresh Season. These are also from the DLC. Dorsal Slicer. Is that new? Pop and Schlock. That's the one that I thought I heard was new. Wasn't this what was playing earlier? Yeah. Anyone who's up on the jukebox music, let me know if this is new. It didn't put a thing on there, so. It only gave me a sample of it. Alright. Got the food, got the thing. Alright, let's... I really got... I want to get that fist bump, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I will try again. Yeah, I just really can't compete with how fast the ink brush is. Might be part of why uh, they didn't add a, a new brush for so long, because they were like, well, we can't beat perfection. Oh yeah, we should do a Night Owl match. Thank you, Ashley, for reminding me. Do that after. We'll do at least one with this group, because i got to go through the randos. Before I even get you guys in. Don't want to ink spawn too much, but I feel like some of these side areas are not getting covered as well. Be the change you want to see at the mall. Should be firing off my special too when I get a chance, because I'm inking so much I'll get a second one by the time I get to the center. Oh, that was close, but I got them. <laughs> Splat bomb's still the better bomb of the two. that through all the chumps. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Ran out of ink. <laughs> I go too crazy, throw a bomb, and then I'm like, I have no ink to roll. And now we're losing territory. off on us. We have the nerfed sloshy machine and a bamboo. <laughs> so the sloshy machine is uh, slower to fire now. I don't know how much that's going to affect its usage because it still has a really good kit. But yeah, if it's just not as good at actually scrapping with people, that might be a huge issue. Let's not all bunch up here, folks. Go. 
Two, no, ah. Hydra. Come on, push in, I killed half the team. Go, go, go. <laughs> I say that and then someone dies. I need you guys in here. You're tough to fight, but you're also better teammates in most ways. Oh. Well, I got a little too close and personal with them. That was weird to see the Sip caster fly back like that. Yeah, they're gonna blast their specials at the very end. I don't think I'm getting out of here. Here we go. Okay, I want to try at least one more. See, there we go. We got the gold. We got turf and overall splatter. That's what I need to do, but just do that when I'm on a team with you guys and someone else also does that. And then we'll see that fist bump. If not, if you, you know, there are people who have been posting in the Grizzco employee break room in the Discord, you can see some of the clips of others who have gotten the, dis the fist bump. It's funny how <laughs> it's such a small little thing, but it is... Like, uh, something a lot of people have been fixating on, myself included. So I'm like, I want to see it. It's so brief, it's, but it's cool. Okay, I need water. I'll be right back here. And then, yeah, so after this, if you are a night owl and... Or above, you know, you could be a level 3 member as well. And you have not played with me yet tonight, and you're watching, you want to play, you let me know, please, in the Night Owl Roost. And I will get you in here. We'll do some passworded matches. It feels so much better just being able to ink a lot easier, because I feel like there's just enough... Enough struggle as it is without being able to ink sometimes. Well, we are playing Turf Wars, but... I think, in just in general, when I can't ink, I feel, like, so defenseless. I tend to not like weapons that are so focused on damage, rather. We got someone coming after me. So many tornadoes from the other side. Or torpedoes, sorry. Oh. Oh. I thought they were done. Ah, so close. Kirby. Kirby got me, Specs. Uh, they were, they've named themselves after the character from the manga, but I was going to say, all of the manga characters, at least originally, were based off of concept art for Platoon 1, and Fex, I think, has an ink brush in their art, because they have some good, high-quality Platoon 1 artwork. And there's the, the glasses, they're also the one that's in Smash Brothers as an alternate costume. They have the jellyfish dress shirt and the... They're called Baby Jelly Shirt or something. And the, uh, um... Glasses on. Ah. I'm not good at picking fights. I feel like I really need to be, like, with a teammate because I almost always die when I pick a fight with someone who has support. And it doesn't matter if I take one down, someone else will usually get me. I'm really bad at coordinating with my teammates when it's not Salmon Run, I feel like. <laughs> I 
Where are you going? Just walking up there to mess with us at the end? No. <laughs> Even though I was behind him, I couldn't get him. You guys are too good at the normal mode. I do think Salmon Run is my forte more. Yeah, I don't know. Can I? I wonder if I can find that art. Let's see. I think I have the old Splatoon stuff on here. The ancient Splatoon thumbnail. And I have Splatoon 2 stuff. I don't think I have Splatoon 1, unfortunately. It's out there, though. There's a good picture of the Inkbrush fighting... I can't remember what other weapon it is. They're, like, fighting each other. On Urchin Underpass. Guy staring into your soul here as I look for the artwork. Oh, we lost a bunch of people, or hmm, we only have half for some reason. Should I make a fresh lobby? Oh yeah, we need to. Oh well, too late. I was gonna say we need to do a early bird or a night owl match. My brain is melting. I want to play during the day when I have more energy, but I also want to play during the night when I'm not melting. Tough choice. It does feel like maybe 75% of the time we get the new music. It's pretty good. They're going to tone it back down eventually, because of course we don't want to have only the three ska songs. People would go crazy hearing this much horns, and it's not Mario Kart. We got an assist from that. Alright, finally get to play with Brian and the others. This will hopefully go much better. back so fast. I don't know if they have quick respawn or they're just that speedy coming back. <laughs> Zombie manga. Oh, I was talking, uh, Farron, I was talking about Dora Hedero. Um, D-O-R-O-H-E D-O-R-O that is, uh, it's got a lot of horror stuff, but it is very funny. I love the characters in that. If you like weird, uh, somewhat horror, like gruesome, mysterious manga with really strong characters, magic and stuff, very unique world. Uh, check that out. That's one of my favorite manga. It got a show, but it didn't last that long, and they only did the one season. It's the same animation studio that did Chainsaw Man, and then they were like, well, now we have Chainsaw Man, so we're not going to do this anymore, because <laughs> it's not as popular. So that was a little unfortunate. I'm happy that uh, Dungeon Meishi is getting a series very soon. January is when it starts. My, one of my other favorite manga. Hiding around the Tacticooler. I'm going to use your Tacticooler as a shield. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get this turf. We got this, folks. Let's get the turf. Good job. Yeah, Dorohedro. Ashley spelled it right. 
Scooby-Doo but zombies. It's not quite Scooby-Doo but zombies. It's very like, what if, uh, what if magic was more commonplace and sometimes there's a sweepstakes where you, or not, <laughs> like a raffle where if you kill zombies, you get a prize, that sort of thing. It kind of, it reminds me of Salmon Run in a way, that, that one part of that, so yeah, I recommend it. It's one of my favorite series. Okay, I'm going to jump out because we're going to get a Night Owl room going. I will check on that. Night Owls. Putting the password in there now. And I will pop up the... Will that be enough? <laughs> Let me see. I was going to um, gonna put some artwork up, but we'll see if this actually works. Does this block the password? It does! Perfect! There we go. Thank you, GG, protecting our night owls. Okay, who hasn't gotten in? And even if you have, you know, as long as anyone who wants to get in can. There you go. There's the- that's not the art of specs I was thinking of, but I, I do see that in the Discord. It was a really good piece of artwork. I wish I could find it. I don't have some of my older series thumbnail and artwork on my computer anymore. Okay, we're gonna get Kirby in here. Quite a few of you online, I see you in here. Look at all the GGs in chat. Yes. Yeah, we'll do a couple of these to make sure we can get in, because that is one of the... I'll, I'll do the pitch. That is one of the benefits of being a YouTube member. If you want to join, you can check the link in the description, or there should be a join link on most of the videos if you're subscribed. And uh, it'll detail all the stuff, but level two, Night Owls get a guaranteed spot on the friends list. If you're a Night Owl and you aren't on there, let me know, please. And I'll get you on there. <laughs> Lego's like, about to do the password by ear. You might be able to figure it out because it is like a dial tone with sounds. Alright, we got Kirby. Are there any other night owls that are waiting for time to play? Because if not, you know, Ashley, Brian, whoever can jump in. There it is. Swag Blue found it. Is this the really... This isn't the huge quality version that I have. I have like an insane quality one of this, but I will drop it here. Oop, there, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, weird. Uh... Let's see if we can get that on here. Huh, it popped up for a second, didn't it? And then it disappeared. That was really odd. I'll save it. I'll do it the correct way. There we go, we got Brian, we got Ashley. that image of mine. There we go. Yeah, it is, uh, I'm not sure if that's also a, one of the Smash character skins there. But yeah, you can see inkbrush wielding specs versus a splatter shot inkling. That was back when we only had two hairstyles. Alright, let me get back into here before we get going. We're back to Barnacle. Okay, good. Let's do it. Let's get that fist bump. <laughs> but yeah, I think that it's fun when uh, we get these sort of licensed Nintendo manga because you, the author gets to do some of their own thing, but they also have to kind of stick to certain things. And I wonder if it was like, hey, use the character designs from all the artwork because we came up with good looking gear combos. What is going on with the other team? Are they okay? There, all right. 
We're going around that way, though, for sure. This is the good Splatoon 1 color. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I got in too, too close to the paintbrush. They were trying, it seemed like they were trying to get the longest name possible. They have Mincemeat, Metalwork, Crustacean, Regular. That was, ah! <laughs> I'm going a little too far. There is a good sign there. I think that's in the catalog. There's like a sticker with a fish that I'm like, oh, that would make a good channel emoji. There's a fish with a very shocked face. I don't want to get too distracted, but there he is. Do you see him there? He's very good. He's like warning you about the mall and the dangers of the food court. Now they're coming back. Get up here. Almost have my killer whale. Okay. Time to push with that. I see a S blast. Think you can learn a new weapon? Not in our watch. Here's the pain brush. That ink back out of there. Oh, they have a charger. <laughs> I was not paying attention to what they had. Here we go. Got someone with the bomb I didn't even intend to get. Get in there! They just jumped off the edge. I forgot the bombs get sucked up in the ink vac too. Man, I feel bad. <laughs> the one I think it was the S blast just gave up at the end. All right, let's see. I don't know. Oh, I only got two gold. Maybe someone else will fist bump though. Look at that matching two little Krugers. Do it. Ah. <laughs> Nobody bumped. That's okay. Oh, thank you. Baron's gonna check out Dora Hetero from their local library. Good way to try out new stuff. Right, we'll do another one with this group unless someone chimes in in the Night Owls that they want to play. Oh, Rafa is here. Let me know if you want to jump in here, Rafa. Look at that turfing from Kirby, aka Specs. All right, right back into it. Now will we get Barnacle and Dime? Oh no! <laughs> I was hoping we would get it over and over. Now, thought we used up all of our Sturgeon luck. I went for a little splash at the beginning, and then the one guy at the end was like, Alright, I'm out of here. I'm not sure what my favorite is of the new ones. Maybe Rocket Gilly Blues. The clown one is good, though. <laughs> the three-something circuit. Sometimes I like to be a level lower than my opponents when I use the Killer Whale, because then... It kind of goes at their feet a little bit, and it's harder to dodge under. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, whoever, that Brian saved me a little bit. I was going to hide and sneak attack him, but Brian took him out for me. Let Spex jump in.
They're really going for it over here. Sorry, Scott. I always forget about the big, like, sardine can in the center. I did hit that last time I was trying to uh, use my inkjet, I think, when we were playing the Anaki. Get some of these other little spots while we're waiting for the enemy to come back. Oh, when we do, f yeah, we're in friends, so now I'm, I don't have to play against you guys. I only get to play with you. Which is very nice, because we tend to win. I see you up there. Go ahead and lob that on your head. I need to, yeah, let's check out Color Lock, too, before the end, if I can remember. All right, finish up with Killer Whale. Good job, folks. We've done it once again. Oh, Julia's here. From the old day. Man, all the, the, the Splatoon 1 folks are coming out in force. Julia played, I think, in one of our early tournaments in Splatoon 1. Back when I was co coordinating things on Twitter and trying to get groups together and stuff. Okay. Let's do one more with this group, and then I'll see who else wants to join. And also, we can check out Color Lock. Oh, Ashley jumped out, so I think maybe we'll get Rafa in here. We'll see. I didn't mean to hit OK before we had four people. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that till it was too late. Uh-oh. <laughs> I definitely still, or uh, definitely use Discord. I, I look at Twitter, but that's a sinking ship if I ever saw one. So I don't go, all, <laughs> I don't use Twitter much. For, yeah. I need to at least post one last time and be like, hey, if you're not a part of the, <laughs> the community, please join so you can keep up with stuff because I still have followers on there, but it mainly came, became my way of posting pictures of the cats for milestones as they grew, things like that. We got an angle shooter, a big if I see Angle Shooter now, I'm like, someone's playing Big Swig Express, most likely. Ugh, man. Combo of that Wave Breaker. There's another Kirby? I didn't pay attention to the other team names. Team member names. Imposter Kirby. Took your name while you changed it. While you were role-playing. Somebody over there? I saw an ouch.
I don't see very many successful Krakens anymore. I do think uh, people have adapted. You just kind of, just like the first game, just kind of run away, or if you got a weapon that can hold him back, you can kind of slow him down by shooting him. But honestly, it's better just to run and then uh, get them as soon as they pop out of it, because they're kind of stuck in a weird spot once that happens. They usually can't get out of the position they're in because they haven't inked around them that much themselves. I'm not up here. If you want to come up here, I'll hit you. Uh-oh. Blast is going to get my buddy. I'll try to get Killer Whale here. Fight through the storm! Ooh, nice. Wipe out! Whoop! Pain brush! Yeah! The superior brush wins! No. I want to see the pain rush brush do well. Oh, what we got? Hmm? Brian? Brian? Yeah! <laughs> we got it! So I had three gold, and I'm assuming Brian did too. There we go. Yeah, so I don't think it matters whether it's, you know, inking or splats or things. As long as you have three gold badges, you can, uh, you can get that fist bump. And the person next to you had to do well. Oh no, we lost Kirby, and we still did well. Good job, everybody. Glad we got that to show. Okay, let me quickly, we'll do color lock. It is very cute, the fist bump, yes. Um, ooh, oh, I got distracted because my splat tag, it's trying to get me to change the stuff, but that's okay. We do get the new banner, where is that? This one, this is the new, one of the new seasonal banners. Not very readable, but that's okay. And then color lock. So now instead of color lock on and off, we have two options. So this is one. These are the Splatoon 3 colors, iconic, you know, for the logo, yellow and purple, and then yellow and purple and kind of a magenta. And then this is the other option, orange and blue, Splatoon 1 sort of colors, uh, especially the tricolor version, that orange is a lot closer to Splatoon uh, 1, sorry. And then, uh, yeah, but look at the blues, there's like a light blue and a dark blue. Anyone who has, you know, color blindness, is that easy to differentiate? It's a little confusing to me, you know. The blues look very close. You'd think they would have, you know, something else. Especially because they have tricolor stuff with uh, orange, green, purple, or red, yellow, blue. I don't know how... Dif those maybe just aren't as stark for people who have issues with color differentiation, you know, but... Yeah. They're both nice options, though. I'm glad that there's more than one, because maybe one doesn't work for somebody. They're, uh given us more accessibility features, and I think that is good. Okay, let's do another. I'm gonna create another room. Gigi's gonna protect the night owls so that they can jump in here. Did I create a room without a password on accident? Yes. Give me one second. I'll make another one. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see if we can get Rafa or anyone else in here who hasn't gotten in yet on the Night Owls. I remember in, yeah, in Pikmin 1 when I would do password tournaments, I didn't know how to, like, change what was on my, what was streaming out versus what was, uh, I was looking at. So I was trying to, I would, like, make the lobby with a second spectator switch. I think that was before we had spectator mode as well. It was weird and complicated. Uh, so yeah, any night owls that want to get in, do it. Ashley has already clipped out the fist bump. Thank you, Ashley. That was so quick. But yeah, it's a little rare, but it is, uh, it's nice that, there we go, we got Rafa in here. It's nice that they have, like, a thing to different, or a sort of, uh, denote when you do really well with a buddy like that. I don't think you, they can be random, they don't have to be friends. As long as you both do well and get the badges. All the gold badges. 
But yeah, as far as I know, three gold and be next to the person. That's the most random element. I got really lucky that Brian was next to me and played so well. Okay, who else wants to join? Brian or Ashley or any other night owl can jump in here. Let me see who else is on. I see some of you in the Discord just lurking, watching. Feel free to jump in. Ashley and Brian both being like, oh, after you, after you. So it's a little stuck, but we'll get one of them in here. Hmm. Yeah, Kendo, so far no one has guessed the password, so. Even though you can tell from the, the sound. I could mute the game, but I've, I haven't had an issue yet with it. I could easily just be like, sorry. Can't hear it, but no. All right, we got Brian. Thank you. I should have changed my weapons now that we got the... <laughs> I've been playing Inkbrush to try to get the fist bump and we got it, so I should have changed my weapon, but a little too late. It's okay. Mad Wakiri with the humble brag. They're like, I'm not going to get fist bump because I take all the medals. <laughs> Oh, Kendo, did you decode it? Could potentially jump in. If you if there is a uh, security compromise with the Night Owl code, then you you there's a reward for no. <laughs> That'll happen with hacking where like people get into stuff and then they get rewards for showing the vulnerability or they get a job. We'll get you on the mod team for cracking the musical code, Kendo. Yeah, I would like to maybe do at least another barnacle and dime before we finish up. But also, I, want, I need to try out another new weapon. I don't want to just play ink brush in my comfort zone the whole time. Oh yeah, late, better late than never. What is the, oh, that's the new Rapid Blaster Deco. I see. Does that, that also has Angle Shooter, I think. Seeing a lot more Ink Storm now that we have the uh, Big Swig with it. So I think Big Swig is another one of those weapons where it is safe to get used to it because it will most likely just keep getting buffed until it's in a better place. Like a lot of the new weapons, I don't think the developers want them to be bad, obviously. They want to keep buffing them until people want to use them. They're proud of their new weapons. I'm trying to get out of this ink storm. Okay. Let's let whoever's jumping to me do it. Oh! Thought. I could make that, but I started flicking. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Okay. Oh. Eh. Got S blasted. Oh no, that was the Rapid Blaster. They're wearing the... I thought they were wearing the one hat in the promo art. I start associating weapons with certain stuff, like I think I'm going to always associate the pain brush with the little Octoline wearing the captain cap in the thumbnail. Which I think is like a nice, uh, non-busted up version of Captain's, uh, Captain Cuttlefish's cap from Splatoon 1. Get out of here, you! But the, the developers are very good at coordinating the fashion to make the promotional inklings look good and awkwardly. Oh, I will, um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I will warn you guys that data miners found files for side order in the new update. And, uh... Vaguely, they, they mentioned it might refer to the reward for completing side order. So, that's all I know. That's all I'll probably want to know, you know, until that's out. It kind of feels like we might get side order sooner than later. 
I'm thinking from the sound of it, like it might be this year. And maybe uh, we have a one year anniversary, we got a Splatoon concert coming up. There's a lot of stuff on the horizon that maybe they're gonna launch that. So yeah, just be careful out there if you don't wanna get spoiled on that. It's good that uh, it seems like with Octo Expansion, we had a reward, you know, we could play as Octoline, so hopefully there'll be something good. To let Danny coordinate my Splatoon fashion, that would be fun. All right, let me change my gear. There we go, we are one, what are we? One twentieth of the way towards completing the catalog. Uh, what haven't I played yet? I think I played all the weapons that I bought. I'm gonna go back to the paintbrush more. I wanna get used to it. Danny does love the fashion. She's mentioned before. She's just, you know, she loves the world, the lore, the fashion. I talked to her about Splatoon quite a bit, but she just, you know, hasn't tried playing really. I think I got her to play a little bit of one. Zelda is a good balance of her liking the game and a lot of the story and things around it as well enough to kind of want to play it more. All right. Please let us go to the mall. I never thought I would want to go to the mall this bad, but Barnacle and Dime, which if you didn't get is a pun on Nickel and Dime. Sometimes the puns aren't as obvious need to be using. Man, this is throwing me off already after playing Inkbrush. I'm so slow feeling. There we go. Curling Bomb Assist. Uh-oh. Someone? Okay. Just heard a sad little sound over there and I figured he was in trouble. <laughs> I thought I could jump up and get them. They splashed me. So the Neo and the normal Splashomatic both got a nerf to the special uh, points. You need more special points to get it. And also, it's not that noticeable from what I've seen, but supposedly they don't paint as well. I think there's some sort of like drop-off with their ink droplets or something. Nothing too big, but they actually did try to nerf some of the more popular weapons for once. I was surprised to see it. It's sad that uh, that Stamper got nerfed because I think Stamper is a little bit more of an interesting weapon to see played in uh, competitive and tournaments and stuff. Almost couldn't get out of there because of uh, how slow this brush is. Uh -oh. I don't know which way to go. We got people on both sides. Here comes more ink strikes. Oh, it's uh, splatter shot getting those, I think, right? Or is it the? Maybe it's both. Oh, jeez! Worst timing. I was trying to get up on that, but I did it a little too early, and it just fell off. Hmm. Come somebody, I see ya. Good, good, good. Let's bring this back. I feel like I have played more Sturgeon in 3 than I ever did in 2. Not just tonight, but in general. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I saw them there, and then they disappeared before I even died, but I guess they got me. One last splat. Yeah, what is the... what's the Japanese name for Barnacle and Dime? I did see... so I mentioned, uh... Before, when we learned about the pain brush, I doubt we're gonna get a fist bump from me, but maybe the others. I'm always looking now. 
Um, so I mentioned the ink brush is named Pablo in, Jap in the Japanese version after Pablo Picasso. Uh, the octo brush is Hokusai after the famous, you know, great wave of Kanagawa artist. Oh, we're getting new maps. And then this new one, the paintbrush is called Vincent, but it's actually, well, I thought it was called Vincent. It's actually called Vincent because of the fin brush on it. And it's a pun on Vincent for Vincent Van Gogh. But it has like a fin, even though it looks, to me, it looks like a ginkgo leaf, which is a very popular motif. But yeah, it is kind of finned in a way that goes with the nautical theme. Um, What are we at? Okay, come back. And, oh, Barnacle is on Splat Zones. Let's try that for a bit, and I will very quickly grab my reward. Tulaport Shopping Park is the Japanese name for it? Okay. Oh, we got that baseball helm. Oh, I like that one. That's an early piece of gear to get, but also cool looking. Let's check it out. I might change the ability on it, but... Barrelfish Home Helmet. Seems like that would be fun for... Let me test this in the lobby. Let me see if run speed up helps the brush at all. Because it doesn't help the rolling speed of brushes, but I have to strafe a lot with the paintbrush. So potentially, it could help with the strafing speed. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Look how slow this goes. He's like moonwalking. Yeah, let me try without it just to see. Yeah, it seems the same. I don't think it affects... That's more of a shooter ability to use the... Or even the Splatana might benefit from that or something. Okay. And then I will do another one of these. Can we... We can do an Anarchy. Oh, no, that's open. Anarchy with friends and I can create a room with password. Yeah, let's try that. Help us, Gigi. It's funny to have the dial tone sounds that we don't even have anymore, really. But Splatoon, they use old technology all the time. All right, any night owls that want to join, jump in. We're going to try Splat Zones. I don't, how does this work? What if I try to do this and then no, someone doesn't have the password? I haven't done an invite with a password match. It's funny also because I'm like, I think of open as like turf war, general lobby. I think of that as open and then turf war with friends. But anarchy open versus anarchy series, like we're open but with friends. It's a little muddled in my brain. Waffles here. Jump in, Waffle, if you want to play. Thank you, Farron. Gigi does have a distinct face. He's slightly cross-eyed, the vet told us, as you can see. We got Brian in here, but we love him all the same. Oh, thank you. Ike is uh, mentioning in the chat, watching Splatoon 1 and playing with viewers. We're still doing it eight years later. I can't believe... Eight years from Splatoon 1 makes sense to me because there's been three games. Nine years since Mario Kart 8 is bizarre because we are still playing Mario Kart 8. <laughs> it's really strange. Uh, maybe one day we'll get Mario Kart 9. Once they keep adding all the tracks, we're still not done with all the DLC Mario Kart stuff. Speaking of which, yeah, if you are... Uh... If you're a member especially, let me know in the Discord if you want to see more Mario Kart, because I will prioritize that for you guys. Because I had fun playing that. I would love to have a Mario Kart stream with Danny, but if, if we can just, you know, do them any random time, that would still be fun too. It's a little tough coordinating schedules. Danny can pretty much only stream once a week with me, so we've done Zelda. Let's do an ad hoc poll in the chat. While we wait for one other person to join. I 
did enjoy the Mario Kart stream. I probably wouldn't do battle as much, because <laughs> last time we did an hour of racing and an hour of battle, and the hour of battle went on a little longer than I would normally play. I do like battle mode, but I think racing is, is more fun overall. All right, there's the poll if you're watching live. Does the, do polls still show up for people if they're looking at the live chat when you're watching the video? Does anyone know? Brian was in the Splatoon 1 stuff too, yeah. Some of you have been around so long. I'm glad to see you still hanging out. Who's going to join and help us? We could just go if no one else wants to jump in. Okay, Waffle's sitting out. Get in here, Ashley, if you want to splat the zone with us. Or Rafa. There we go. Rafa's jumping in. <laughs> I know Ashley loves Mario Kart. Alright, we'll try Barnacle and Dime on Splat Zones, and then we'll probably wrap up pretty soon, because we've been going for a while. I may or may not... There we go. Try to get in some more Zelda, because we missed Zelda tonight. <laughs> Uh, at the very least, if you like Splatoon, we have that event coming up this weekend. I'll try to stream that as well as the new Salmon Run stage. So we're going we're gonna to have a good, a good amount of Splatoon for people this week with all the new stuff happening. And then Big Run is sooner than later. That is going to be not this weekend, but next weekend, the weekend of the 9th and the 10th. And then Tuesday is the, I think Tuesday the 6th is when we have another event thing. There's too much going on in this game now. I almost think... Uh, the challenges are going to put this over the edge for something happening constantly to the point where I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to get all of these <laughs> streamed, but I will try to at least see what challenge mode is like. I've seen a lot of complaints about that, though, because there's three two-hour windows, and the one's on a Tuesday, which is kind of an odd time. There we go. All right, we got Barnacle and Dime, and this is Splat Zone, so the map's going to be a little laid out different, I would think. Okay, here we go. This is Rockagilly Blues, alright. This one feels more like a big band song in some way. Like, uh, or swing music is what I was saying. Uh, like Brian Setzer Orchestra was really popular back in the 90s. Stray Cats even before that. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other. A couple bands I can't name because they have names that are not repeatable. <laughs> I'm trying to remember some of the more tame ones. <laughs> ah, I got snuck up on by that Anaki. What is the squirrel nut? Squirrel nut zippers is another one from when I was younger. And then one more that was popular that I won't say. <laughs> the '90s were a lewd, rude time. Let me make sure I don't get snuck up on. Again, hopefully. They're just gonna sneak around on us. I'm watching. Alright. Push this zone. This is kind of a good little alley to throw my curling bombs. Friendly Bomb, not that bad. I don't, you know, it covers some, some turf. Not the worst sub in the world. They're double ink jetting us in a way that is not cool. I'm a little vulnerable there if I get noticed. I'm noticing. A couple little hiding spots for my Wave Breaker. I'm playing very defensive, which it kind of works with the paintbrush because it has that distance. They just keep getting their ink jets at the same time, so you can tell they're coordinating. Or they're just very good at using them at once. Get that big bubbler out of there. So a bunch of specials, I think, aren't as good against the big bubbler, and the big bubbler has a larger 
size, which some people think is a bit of a nerf to Big Bubbler, because you could get inside of it easier, which I, I didn't think about. You could just kind of swim into it more than you were able to previously, before the size buff. Ugh. Yeah. I get overwhelmed when there's just like three or two or three people shooting at me from different stuff. I just can't tell who I should focus on first. That's why I like getting shot by ten different bosses instead. No. Salmon Run is different, but similar in some ways. They are gonna... we don't get them out of here and get this zone back, we are gonna be in trouble. They know I'm over here and they're gonna sneak around to try to get me, but at least we recaptured the zone. almost dead, but their double inkjet coordination is really making our life miserable. They were holding down the fort, but we're in trouble now. Get that bubble out of there. Okay, good, good, good. Are they still over here? Are they sharking? Let the ska power you! Ah! I keep trying to- they're good at keeping a distance where I'm like, I want to get close enough to hit them with my paintbrush, but I feel like they're staying back enough that it can be very tough to actually counter those jets. Last few seconds here. All they have to do is take the zone back once, I'm pretty sure, and we're yeah. Ah, Yeah, that's it. Tough. 81% of you who voted said you would play. Well, now down to 78, uh-oh. A <laughs> shift. Uh, it said you would play Mario Kart if we stream it again. Okay, good. Good to know. Thank you. Puppies and Pizza asking... Great name there. Asking thoughts on the new pain brush. I'm enjoying it so far. I Again, it's very hard to replace the ink brush for me. Um... It's a little, it's a little slow, but it, I feel like if I get used to it, it, it plays so, sort of defensively and more of a support, like I'm more willing or want to do in stuff like Splat Zones. And it paints pretty good, it's just slower. I don't use it to roll around as much because of that initial wind-up, which I think is losing a little bit of what I like out of a brush. Um, but honestly, yeah, it's not that bad. I don't have to tap my finger like crazy compared to the ink brush to get all the flicks out, which is a very welcome addition. We're going to see another one with, uh, with Rafa here. But yeah, I don't, I, the kit better than I thought initially, too. I like Wave Breaker, but I was not as sold on the curling bomb. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Definitely my favorite of the new ones I played tonight. Yeah, that's a, that is a good it point. It almost is uh, replacing the Octobrush in some ways. Octobrush has a bomb, like a, a better bomb, I think. But Zipcaster, I would rather have Wavebreaker, I think. So, some of it's kit dependent. The range on this is nice, because I do feel like I can... You can get up in people's faces and still smack them and knock them out real quick with the damage, but being able to paint this wide from far away, it's a little roll, more of a rollery brush in some ways. It's been an adjustment period, I'll say that, because I'm not so used to uh, playing 
any of the brushes that I'm not comfortable with, you know. Namely, the one type. I like Octobrush, I just... I think the Octobrush has a cooler design, I just like playing the Ink Brush more. Because I think it fits my style better. It's just a better weapon in more ways, I think. Be careful. What do they have? Explosher? Nozzle Nose. Oh man, I'm worried about the Nautilus. Hey, hey, hey! I see you there. They tried to sneak up, but they didn't even pay attention to the guy behind them. Oh, I wanted to throw that down there behind their one spot. That's okay. Got the lead. Be careful of where they're going, because that Nautilus is going to be an issue. Tracked. Back up a little. Man, how many ink storm weapons do they have? <laughs> Two, I would think. Right? I'm noticing way more point sensors than I used to as well, and that could be due to some of the kits, but. I need more ink resistance with this because I'll get in points where I run out of ink. Right, I was trying to throw that there. <laughs> they might just shoot it, yeah. That wasn't a good idea with the way the Nautilus was sitting there. Ugh. <laughs> I was locked in on what I wanted to do and that was a bad time to do that. Nautilus and Explosher just ganged up on me there. feels so slow. I don't like not being able to dip out of a fight. Let's try to get this back. Splosher's so tough to deal with in splat zones because they can just cover the huge part of the zone with their sploshins. Okay, good job, team. <laughs> Hit the Nautilus. They're going up. Oh! Ah! I thought they were going up, but they went back down. Alright, this may be safe time to jump in. Who's got me? Brian? What's going on with that guy? One guy was just standing there. Weird. Sorry, I couldn't hang back and help you. Ah, jeez. So much run speed on the Nautilus. The ska is making it so intense. Zone. Ah, no. Ah, I should have just gone in. Didn't matter at the end there. If I was waiting for super jumps, if we were about to lose. So the problem is, I run out of ink sometimes, is why I try to run away. I need to conserve my ink better. It's always a problem for me.
I think the way I like to play brush too is the little stinker method of kind of dip in and out, throw a bomb in, get away, that sort of thing. All right, we'll try one more here. Tonight, I'm, it's promising they're adding more music, yeah. Swag Blue had, uh, mentioning how much variety Splatoon 2 had in genres. I think we're getting there slowly but surely with this one. We had some uh, horns because, yeah, I was going to mention, Yoko, the inkling with the different colored tentacles, she has like a rare anomaly where she has different ink color in her tentacles. She was in Ink Theory, I believe, was like the the abandoned two and it seems like they broke up and now she's formed this one uh yoko and the gold bazookas so there's some lore there but it has some similar stuff she's a trumpet player so that's why we have horns in this i still think uh chirpy chips abxy is my favorite Splatoon band, and maybe they'll come back again, but they did bring them back for two. I feel like they don't want to lean too heavily on the same bands over and over again, or styles. Because they want to give different games different vibes. Oh, we're playing against Splatoon and Splatoon 2. Interesting. So they're playing together at the very least. All right, here we go. This might be the last one. We got Three Horn Circus. This is the clown core sounding music. Torpedo. I'm gonna go with their specials. <laughs> I feel like Wavebreaker's not helping me as much in Splat Zone. Like, it's good, but. Oh, there it goes. I wish. I need a. Uh, Ideally, something that can cover the zone a little better. Okay, we're in control. Oh, oh okay. I thought... Cool. <laughs> they just waited, even though their whole team was dead. No one was around. They waited for me to jump in. At least we're coming back immediately. Nope. They waited again, or is that a different person? I gotta stop jumping in, I guess. And just Everyone's alive on my team, but every time I jump in, I die. That's what I get for not having stealth super jump. This is a ranged brush, but I still feel like I'm getting outranged. I need to be more aggressive, I guess. Mm, this is not going good for us now the lead and they're holding it down and they just keep kind of sneaking around and camping in our area there we go thank you for taking the annoying slosher out for me got slosher try slosher and blah blah birds not a fun combo to deal with. Yeah, I feel like my initial flick is so slow that I can't even uh, can't even take the tornadoes down some or torpedoes down sometimes before they land. I'll get used to the pain brush, but not fun adapting to a new weapon. I'm gonna make sure, because they keep sneaking around us, so I want to make sure we're inking behind me. A little bit. Come on.
Good, good, good. Okay, there we go. Got the torpedo this time. They just take that zone back so fast with all their specials. it but that's how it goes I'm trying to use the paintbrush but I don't think it's that great for zones without having a good inking special a lot of back and forth will they get a, a fist bump at least nope <laughs> take some solace in the fact that they didn't get a fish fist bump no. okay I think that might be it. We got a lot of Splatoon in the future, folks. Like I mentioned, challenge mode. Spl uh, new Spl uh, new salmon run map. New big run. New flip flop flim flom. New splumble domble. Like that's how this game sounds sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I try to keep all this straight. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who played tonight and watched. I appreciate it. My brain is melted enough where I think it's time to hang up my paintbrush for the night. I can deal out the pain, but it's also a little bit of pain to play so far, but I will get better at it, I think. Just need the practice, get the muscle memory down, and play the right modes with it, I think. Okay, thanks again. Let's thank our members here. We got... I think we got a couple new ones. I will shout them out real quick. Yeah, Steph Wheel 8 joined again. They are at two months already from gift memberships. And Thomas joined for the first time. Welcome, Thomas. Here are all the members from before the stream started. We have Mark, Ashley, Elena, Zach, Josh, Kayla, and Somberlene. This is our highest tier. Special shout out to all of them. Thank you so much. And then we have our Night Owls. 18 of you. Nice even slides for that. Appreciate it. A bunch of you were watching tonight. I know that for sure and played, because that's one of the benefits of being an idol. Get on the friends list. And then here are all the early birds coming through. Thank you so much. Helping support the channel, helping me stream. When new stuff drops, I'm ready to go with the stream because of your support. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, I will, like I said, I will try to stream the challenge mode this weekend. We might only get one of the two hour windows. I'm a little more excited to play the new Salmon Run map and get the new gear and try the, the S-Blast. And then I think next weekend will be... Or no, the, the two shifts in a row, we have the new map and S-Blast and then Painbrush. So I think the Painbrush will be fun. I wonder if it can roll over chums in Glowfly waves. Lots of stuff to find out. All right, let's just do one of these for kicks. I got a bunch of Salmon Run money. Maybe two. <laughs> Might as well. I think I uh, we have to do uh, or wait another season before I can get stuff from the catalog. Just tickets. That's okay. All right. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'm having fun. We have a new weapon for me to do this with, which is always great. Lots of new stuff. Check out Inkopedia if you want to you know, see anything I didn't mention. Lots of detailed patch notes there that you can see. With all the changes, tried to mention as many as I could. This one uses up a lot more ink, so I can't 
can't have my little Octoling VTuber as easily. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Please check out Zelda 2. Uh, <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2. Tears of the Kingdom. I've got two series going for that. One with Danny, one solo. They've both been very fun, so please check those out. And uh, yeah, appreciate everyone. Take care of yourselves. Stay cool, even during stinky season, sizzle season. Goodbye. My ink is low. Good night. <laughs>